Alright, what do you Call me your friend. What are you doing here? Hey! What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? What is that in my room? How many times have I warned you not to stab your prince in this house, okay? How many times have I warned you? Hey, Luca. I see that you have grown. You now scream over my head. Eh? One day I'm going to deal with you. Call your father. God, you want to deal with me? No, it shouldn't be one day, it should be today. I said, stand up and fight me. You want to deal with me? Hello, deal sir. with me? What is going on here? I'm working on that. I said, what is going on here? That, it is him. The same person I have warned never to stop his feet in this house again. Yet, he brought himself here. What is he doing here? What is it? Dubey Morgini, what is it? Eh? Mama, you're back. I'm back, my dear. Hello, Ka. This is your saving grace. Who? I'm going to come back to you later. Moa, Kena Dong. What are you doing here? Udoka, I see that you have refused to address the fact that your son. And you have ignored it. No problem. I am here so that you and I can put heads together. Fix a date. But that is better. It, it, it is so obvious. You thought I was joking when I told the elders that you are not going to participate in yeah. Papa's burial? You thought I was joking or something? You lie. It's a warm again. was also my father, and I am going to participate fully in his burial. Let me tell you something, Chidu Your presence is already irritating me. Mm -hmm. Now that you still have your body members intact, mm -hmm. I am advising you to get out of this place before Maggie Verman get out of this place. <laughs> so, so, okay. Mama, please stay out of this. Okay, this is the family house. Eh? You keep forgetting. The water block. Mbana. This is our father's house. I still belong here. Eh? Calm down. Sit down. Let us talk. Let us plan how we are going to bury our father. Failure to do so. Malarupa here. I'm not going anywhere until this issue is resolved today. If God will we go, go ahead. Break the sky. That is legal. Else we will prepare for two burials. Udoka. Udoka. Shut up! Yes, sir! Make sure you Yes, sir! Udoka! So, what date exactly are we looking at for the barrier? Pichi Okolo, don't you think Chidubem needs to be here before such question is asked? Uh, yes, you are right, but this meeting was slated for 10 a.m. Look at time. It's not 10.30. Must we all sit down here idle waiting for him? Never. Uh, we are here for a reason. And we have to proceed. Exactly. So at any point in time he comes in, he joins us. Okay. Uh, okay, in that case, what date do you have in mind that the better should take place? Uh, I am... Um, I am looking at the last Friday of this month. That is uh, exactly three weeks from now. Mm. Yes, three weeks time. Yes, it is my father's burial that we are talking about, and uh, I should be allowed to settle for a date that works for me. Yeah. You understand? Mm. Uh, my colleagues, my apologies. You can one, please. My my sincere apology, Biko. I had. Um, a serious situation you know, with a client. As a matter of fact, it was quite critical and they needed you know, my attention. I couldn't leave. Bikono, eh? please. Okay. My apologies. But I'm, I'm here now. Uh, please, darling. Thank you. No, you are welcome, Shidube. Mm -hmm. No problem. As a matter of fact, we just started the meeting. Mm -hmm. And the question is when exactly? Are we looking at that's the date we are looking at for the burial of your late father? But good enough, your brother has provided an answer. Uh, uh, with all due respect to Shio Kolo, you don't have to explain anything to this one who just came in. 
In fact, he does not deserve any explanation. To, to, I, I want him to leave this place. Why, if I may ask? Because I don't want him to participate in the planning of my father's burial. Pastor oh, Guinea. So, the question remains, why? Provide an answer. Udoka. There's no way this man cannot be part of your father's burial plan. There's no way. Is your correct? The question I want to ask you. Why in this world will he participate in the planning of the burial? Very simple. Very, very simple. You know why? Because the person we are planning his burial is also his father. Exactly. Now I want us to settle this. I am the Onoshilobi in this family. In the burial we are talking about, I am the chief mourner. Should you burn me here? We will not participate in the planning of that burial. Ha! It is just as simple as that. Should you your brother? Should not participate in the burial of your late father. Ishi Okolo, as the Eliba Gwagu of Umobogidi, I have all it takes to give my late father a befitting burial. I don't need to involve Shidu Bem. Having all the money in the world to give your late father a befitting burial is not the subject matter here. What is the subject matter here? Why are you insisting that he will not participate in any way as regards to your father's burial? She has been like, answer the question already. I don't know why you are still bringing it up. I say that I have all it takes to give my late father a befitting burial and even more. I don't need Chidubem to be involved in it in any way. The whole of your explanation has not answered our question. At all. You know what? Just give me one minute, I'll be right back. I can see trouble coming. And we must do something to stop it before it becomes too hard for us to handle. We will stop it. Uh, you're right, Chief. But he must first tell us his reason for not allowing his brother to participate in their father's burial. He has no option. No option that too. I need to put one in my mind. Yes. This is um, for you. Actually, I, I, I should have done this before the meeting started. Udoka. Is your color? What is this? Money. For what? Well, it is money from a good man. A good man to his woman now. So, whatever name you want to give it, you give it, but just take it. It, it, it is coming from a good heart. Yeah? You just insulted our personality, and I will never take it. I will not. And neither will I, which is a below, partake in this thing. What is going on? Is your problem? What's the problem? You see why I I always maintain that shifting things should not just be given to anybody. That we should look at people to know who we are giving any title. Look at how they are behaving. Walking out on a man like me is very wrong. Both of us are the people that are remaining here now. Can we go into the discussion? Because he can be a mama. You are far better than them. How can we start planning the burial? So, you 
sure you win the case? Yes. I have enough evidence to prosecute the matter. Murder case is not just a simple one. I mean, the prosecuting counsel will go any length to send your client to jail. And that's why I'm doing everything possible to ensure he doesn't go to jail. But what was he thinking? Why did he stop her? He said he did that in self-defense. Do you believe him? Of course I believe him. And that's why I'm defending him. Look, I'm going to give a credible account of myself in the case. Okay. All right, then. Let's discuss something else. Your father-in-law's burial. How are you preparing? Uh, my dear, they haven't figured out the dates yet. And until they pick a date, then the planning begins. Oh. I'm looking forward to see what your husband will do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's going to set this kingdom on fire. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I can't wait to see all this. Me too. I love music. Please make yourselves comfortable. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, One second. It's okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Happy that he has made his own money. Exactly. He cannot match Udoka. Money for money. Mm -hmm. Power to power. Exactly. There's something I don't like about that Udoka. He's always full of himself. He doesn't regard any other person. Well, I see him as a man who doesn't know what he's doing. And whatever he's planning is against our culture and it will not stand. To never stand. Good. Hey, I need you. Yes, sir. And we're in a barge. Hey. Thank you. The son of the soil. Good. Over to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey. Thank you very much. <laughs> you see, your brother just made a very wrong order. And if you allow that order to stand, you'll be put to shame. I agree with you, my orders. But the question is, will you allow such order stand? Never. But everything depends on you. <laughs> Can see how? I see war coming, and you must be prepared. That is the only way we will not allow whatever is planning to come to pass. I'm equal to the task. We are the custodians of the tradition of Omobogidi, and what your brother is doing is against our tradition, and we will not allow it to stand. And it will be an abomination for you and your children unborn. Thank you. Thank you, good elders of our land. Thank you for always standing up for the truth and always standing by me. Uh, I do not take it for granted. Uh, thank you so much. But I assure you that I am going to fight this like a man uh, and ensure that what he has declared does not see the light of the day. Uh, and uh, not forgetting that I still have your account numbers. It's not on my phone. Uh, thank you very much. I assure you that um, before Chianeji, before nightfall, uh, you shall smile. <laughs> you. Uh, you are forgetting to take your phone. I got this uh, drink when I traveled to uh, Bangkok. Oh, 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 o
Yes, uh, one of um, Thailand's um, finest. Mm. Udoka, you are running very, very fast in the wrong direction. And no matter how far you go, you never arrive at the desired destination. So I sincerely advise you to stop immediately. I don't know why you are standing this way. Mm -hmm. I have not done anything wrong. On the contrary, Udoka, you have done everything wrong. How? Let me tell you. One, you said your brother will not participate in the burial of your late father. Two, you offered money to the elders to take side. What were you thinking? Well, I am insisting that Shidu Bem will not participate in the preparation for my father's burial. Or oh, my man, it's not possible. Then on me giving money to the elders, I don't actually understand why that has become a problem. My father used to give money to the elders when he was alive. And they received the money happily. Why will he get to my town now and it becomes a problem? Well, Udoka, you are right when you say that uh, your father, when he was alive, used to give money to the elders. Father? And they accepted happily. Yes. Good. But let me tell you that yes, there's a difference. Your father did not give money to the elders to take side. Neither was he giving money to the elders when there were contentious issues on the table. Uh, well, if that is the way you see it, I am sorry. But I, I never meant it that way. Well, that apology goes to them, not me. I don't understand. No, no, are you possibly saying that I have to go and apologize to them? Exactly. No, it's your color. <laughs> you will know the kind of thing you will say now. Ah. I cannot do a thing like that. It's all right. Udoka, if you say so, no problem. But then, be rest assured that the woman will not fully participate in the burial of your late father. Yes, I don't need to remind you that you had your Noshiliobi of Chief Udoka Okenwa's family. Yes. So much responsibilities rest upon your shoulders to champion the cause of the family. Your father is no more. You are expected to do the right thing all the time. Uh, you of all people should not be the one saying this. Of course, you know that I, you know that I've been doing my best. Well, it's all right. Udoka, no problem. But if you are not prepared to apologize, then be rest assured that things will remain the way they are. Are you leaving? These people are just daring me. I am the Onoshilobi of this family, like you said yourself. And now you expect me to go and apologize to people on the account of what I did in my OB. And then me, amen. That is not possible, and you know it cannot happen. Take I must bury my papa. Whether you like him or not. I told you your brother hates you, but he saw it from the angle of me instigating you against your brother. But thank God his reactions today vindicated me. I'm sorry, my darling, but I disagree with you. My brother does not hate me. I have not done anything wrong to him. It baffles me how you sound this way. Do you need a prophet to tell you that your brother does not mean well for you? Can we drop this topic? No, because your life is at stake here. And I am at the receiving end if anything bad happens to you. Nothing will happen to me. I know nothing will happen to you, but you need to put your brother at bay. If you allow him to come close to you, he may arm you. How many times have I told you? Just how many times have I told you 
that my brother is not going to harm me. Okay? He does not hate me. He cannot harm me. Please. <sighs> Babe, you need to start saying things from my own perspective. Please. Okay. Going forward, I'll begin to see things from your perspective. But can we at least drop this topic now? Yes, we will. But do you remember my encounter with your brother and father some months ago? I thought we were dropping the topic. You've had a lot of encounters with my late father and brother. Which of them are you talking about? The day I visited your father to discuss business law and how it affects businesses. My dear, you've thought so much about this entity concept in business. What is it all about? Um, Papa, entity concept in business yes. is a law that separates the business from its owner. This is what I call impossible. My business, my personal creation, my family business. How can you separate two of us? Uh, Papa, entity concept in business yes. represents every registered business as a person on its own that can stand on its own operates on its own without undue interference from anyone. That's why they are separate entities. Okay. I think I'm understanding you very well now. Let me give you an example. My transport company is known as Okenwa Motors Limited. My personal name is Chief Okenwa Udoka. Yes, Papa. So, for example, Okenwa Motors Limited mm -hmm. can be sued while you, Chief Okenwa, mm -hmm. isn't sued. Then you, Chief Okenwa, can be sued mm -hmm. while Okenwa Motors Limited isn't sued. That's because in entity concepts, the business is different from its owner. Okay, now I totally understand what you are explaining to me. But there's this bitter experience I had. One of my reckless drivers went and used my vehicle to kill somebody. And I was sued directly. Ah, uh, Papa, in that situation, it is possible. Very possible. Oh! Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my son. How are you? Fine. <laughs> I want her to leave. There's something I want to discuss with you. What? Papa, please tell him I am in the middle of a serious conversation with you. Who are you to advise this man to do anything? Do you actually know the man that is sitting down here? Of course I know him. He is my father-in-law. He is your father-in-law? Yes. And I'm telling you now that as the Odoshile will be, I want you to get out of this place because I have to discuss something with the Obuefiego Malabba Fubabogide. I don't understand. Papa, you're not saying anything. Please call him to order. This is... On Ochilopi himself. He can never be called to order before any woman. If ever we call him to order, it will be when you've left us. Listen, eh? I don't I don't know that your name, but I know who you are. But I'm giving you just 10 seconds to get out of this place before I will show you something that you will live the rest of your life fearing. Hey! You want to see me? Hey! Get out! Get out! Hey! Get out! 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 Telling her that to her face is mm. the best thing you have done. You know, it is always good to sort this young woman, sort them out in their very presence. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why I actually came for that. You don't look happy. What is the problem? I don't know what I have done to do Kaili Bagwago that makes him treat me like a nobody. What did he do this time? His domineering attitude is becoming unbearable. 
must he always exert his authority on me? You're yet to tell me what he did. I was in the middle of a conversation with Chief. All he did was to ask me out. I still don't get it. He came in and asked me to leave. Why? I don't know. What? And what did Chief say? Of course, you know Chief, he said nothing. No. No, 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 this is not happening. Why is Chief always taking side with Udoka? I don't know. He sees me as an enemy, especially my husband and I. I don't know what we've done wrong to him. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay, Flora. Please don't take it this far, okay? It's okay. I'll talk to Chief later, okay? It's fine. Please. Please, it's okay. Calm down. All right. Take care. What is it? Your brother is at it again. What did he do? He walked me out in the middle of my discussion with the chief. What? Why? Are you asking me that question? We both see your brother does not have reasons for any of his actions. Okay, calm down. Uh, calm down, calm down. So that this does not bother you. Calm at down. At this I'm... point, I am not bothered. I am fed up with his overbearing attitude and it has to stop. Okay, now you're about to overreact, but just slow down. Slow down. Uh, you okay. tell me to calm down. Uh, Udoka does not hate us. Stop. <laughs> he does not. You don't know what I am talking about. What I saw today from your brother and father is more than hatred. Why did they do this to us? Why did they hate us this much? Okay, listen. I don't know what transpired, but you see, those two still run the family business, transport business. Very frustrating business, I must tell you. And sometimes I have a problem with the drivers, the managers, the mechanics, maintenance department and all of that. Making returns can also be a problem. So just maybe look, I was having a bad day, but I would look into this, okay? You're not understanding what I'm saying at all. What I are you? said your brother walked in and asked me to leave in the middle of my discussion with Chief. I understand. And I expected your father to say or do something, but he did nothing about it. I'll do something. Okay, be calm. Eh? Buto, eh? calm down. Take it easy. Eh? Thank God I reported that to you. If not, it looks like I'm trying to mess things up. Honey, please, just try to take it easy. That's all right. I've heard you. Okay. So. Why did he ask you to leave? I don't know. He didn't say. That means he wants to bury his father alone. Fine. Let him go ahead and do it. Not to worry, my life. That man was my father too. Hmm? So you want to go to war with your brother because of a burial? If that is what he wants, I'll give it to him. I promised my father. A befitting burial. And now... Is the right time to fulfill that promise. <sighs> the signs are not good. Let him bury your father with his dogs, if that is what he wants. Babe, he has been looking for a way to attack you. 
since your father was alive. But now the man is no more. He wants to build trouble so he will attack you. And I am back already. Listen, I ignored him today at the house because the elders were there. Out of respect for the elders, I decided to take him away. He tries it again. If Udoka tries it again, he's going to see a different side of me. Fine. Please, my love. You have to take things easy. You need to be very careful. Oh, please. You know, I actually, I kept quiet because the elders were there. If not, I would have done something very terrible to him. Mona, wait, too. Is it by force to participate in the burial arrangement? Or call everyone? I think the burial arrangement is an arrangement. Dad, at this point, eh, it's very obvious that Brachi Dibbon is looking for our trouble. And I want us to give it to him, Boto Boto. Oh, we are going to give him a basket full of trouble. Oh, yeah, he does not remember that. Forget facts that we don't make money. I am still a borrow. I don't mind you, so. But, Dad, my anger is the fact that you didn't tell me he was here as at the time he was here. I would have broken a bottle on his head to rearrange his brain. I, I, I'm sorry that I didn't, but the next time I will inform you. He needs that bottle. He did say. Daddy, can I ask you a question, please? Go ahead. Why don't you want Uncle Chutubem to participate in Grandpa's burial? What kind of business hotel is that? I don't understand. Uh, uh, where is this coming from? What will Chutubem be doing in the burial? Is it money? I have all the money to give my father, your grandfather, a befitting burial. What is Chutubem coming to do in the planning? I don't understand. Daddy, this man that you have referred to as your father is also Uncle Chutubem's father. So he has equal rights as you do to participate in the burial and every other thing concerning the funeral. You must be very stupid for saying that. You want him to participate in the burial arrangement so that by tomorrow, his shoulders will be up high there that he buried his, his father, your grandfather. Are you mad? Mama, you fell. Are you for us again? What's wrong with you? Ella. Ella, what is your problem in this house? Why are you always against everything that you are doing in this as a family? Why? That's because I want things to be done the right way. Mrs. Right. Perfect. Daddy, let me ask you again. Ha! Okay, put yourself now in Uncle Chutubem's shoes. If he now insists that you will not partake in your own father's burial, Daddy, how will you feel? Hey. It's thunder that will reply that question for you. It's thunder that will fire you. Listen, if you don't know what to say, you shut up your mouth or you get out of here. Every time you open your mouth, you, you, you spill nonsense. Do you know what? Ella, get out of this place. Get back home. Get out! I should get out! One more word from you, eh? And you will not like what I'm going to do. I said, get out of this place! Get out of this place! He said, come on, get out. Come on, get out. Grandpa will not be having money. Shut up, Shut up, don't why don't you go get your grandfather? You, you, you really need to, 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 to. Really need to want her. Sit her down and talk to her. Because if she gets on my nerves, I am going to do something that nobody will like. Hi. What is this? No, it's okay. So don't let her get at you. Ella, please. The signs were there. The signs were. Obviously there. So dad, how is business? Hmm. Fine, my son. I feel you are very fine. So we no longer have cases of accidents with these trucks and um, the driver's inability to, to make returns, you know, <laughs> when they should. My son, in this kind of business, you don't eliminate accident completely. What you do, you reduce it to the barest minimum. Mm. And we succeeded in doing that by employing careful human beings to work for us. And that did the magic. That is impressive. 
Very impressive. <laughs> uh, my son, there's something I want to let you know. In every business, there's always that secret, that special secret in that business. And no reasonable businessman will ever like to sell it out, no matter who's ever involved. <laughs> Daddy, you are your many theories, eh? <laughs> you always have a way with words. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good, you're welcome. <laughs> um, that's why my friends call me wise man. Or indeed, you are a wise man, Daddy. <laughs> you are a wise man. Good. Uh, um, Dad, I, I don't know, something has been on my mind. Daddy, speaking of very successful businessmen, I attended a burial of a businessman that was very successful. And I was not impressed. Things look good. My son, what happened? No food to eat. Drinks couldn't go around. And um, the information that we got was that this man was very wealthy. You know, but his children did not do right by him, Daddy. It was not nice. My son, it does happen. Can you do anything different? Of course, Daddy. <laughs> I'll not only do different, I, I'll do better. Yes. <laughs> I will do better. Uh, I'll do much, much more than what I saw. That was, I dare say, very disrespectful. Daddy, um, it's not like we want you to leave us yet. We still want you here, and we want you alive. But when you have lived your life to the fullest and have joined our ancestors in peace, Daddy, I am going to give you a befitting burial. I am going to give you the biggest burial that Omo Obogiri have witnessed. Hmm? That is not to say you're living anytime soon. <laughs> okay, okay. That's it, my son. But on the other hand, I think what you should be doing now is to think how to make more money rather than thinking on how you are going to stop Omo Bogidi because of your father's barrier. <laughs> Daddy, let it not be that your son is bragging, but I have made money. Abata uh, Gomego. Your son is doing well. You know, I left the family business, not because I did not believe in the transport business, but I did not want to be caught in the web of young men who continue to contest over their father's wealth. Their father's wealth, not even their wealth. Mm. You know, I didn't want to fall into that bracket. You know, I didn't want to do a car and I to begin to fight over who should get what and what. I, I find it... I find it very disgusting, I dare say. I, I see young men who fall into that category as very responsible and lazy. And so I decided to try my hands on something else. I came to you and you blessed me, remember? And so I took my destiny to Port Harcourt, tried my hands on oil and gas. And Daddy, I can tell you that we are doing very well. As I sit down here with you, Daddy, I have started counting money, millions, hundreds, of millions and the company is still growing so indeed I have made money <laughs> so when that time comes <laughs> they will hear my name <laughs> oh that's very good man thank you daddy um, from the world go in this family I had always known that you are going to be a superstar my son you will never, never lack in this world you come. You say? Success will be your next name. You say? Favor will be your next name. You say? Progress and prosperity must follow you all the days of your life. You say? This I pray with all that things that will follow. Dad. Thank the Almighty. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Thank you very much. <laughs> I 
Aduh. Adobe was that for me. Adobe, is that the best way to greet your uncle? And since when has greeting become by force? Jonia. <laughs> What has come over the both of you? Huh? What exactly is going on? Please, listen. Don't even think of shouting here. Because if you raise your voice, you will not like what will happen. Don't think of it. Adobe. So you're here. And you allowed your brother join these kids to start smoking this stupid and damaging substances that is smoke. Hey, Luca. Yeah, get on my ass here. This is force, say. Huh? So you have joined them to smoke these substances that they mix, that make them think that they are bigger than everything in the world. Hey, Luca. You are my nephew and I'm going to advise you to stop now. Quit! Before you get yourself in trouble. I can see you don't have anything to say. Well, leave. Are you talking to me like that, Adam? Do you realize that I am your uncle? And when you address me, you have to listen to the level of respect. <laughs> Uncle, I should respect you. I got say about Pokita. Leave. I say leave when I see my uncle. I will know. Now leave. Uh, and and uh, as you leave, make sure you don't sit anywhere to discuss about this family. Huh? Else it's a bit detrimental to you. You won't like it. Ngawa. Monte. It is very clear that something is fundamentally wrong with the both of you. I don't know what it is. Huh? But I advise that you retrace your steps before you no longer can retrace your steps. Okay, say about what? I said leave here. Leave, my friend! It's you, no matter. You may look like a poor. You may look like a poor. Adamu. Why here? I say why? Why here, man? I said, why, 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 why here? Say my one dog, come on, leave. You are not even in this house. Please don't come back here again. Stop shouting now. Don't waste your phone, son. I need you to come down. Sit down. Nice. Ha! Somebody cannot just use his tongue and, 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 and count his teeth. You see? Ha! Eliba <laughs> Wago. I get a warm. The signs were there. The signs were obviously there. But I was blinded by the love for family. The question is, what did I do wrong? Why 
are the hatred. any right to tell me who my uncles are. Do you hear me? Anybody who must be respected as an uncle must first of all respect himself. What nonsense is that? Eloka. Huh? I don't have time for all this. You see all this your woe woe in me? I don't have time for it. When you're done ranting, help yourself out of this compound. Get out! No, very soon you will have time for my... What is going on? Hey, Luca, why are you here? Why are you shouting? Uh, I heard that you came to the house earlier. Hi. Hey, Luca. Hey, Luca. The thing is, is that Roma. You see, that thing you're taking is not good for you. Do you not think that it is time you advise yourself to stop taking? Bad substances. You don't think so? Me? Me taking bad substances? Between you and I, who looks more like someone who takes bad substances? Yes! If not, what would take you out of your house to our house? What were you looking for there? Listen, I just came to warn you. You are not welcome in our house. Stop coming there. Sit. Stop! Hey, Loka. Who set you up to this? No, tell me. You still ask very silly questions. Do I look like someone that they set up for anything? Huh? Listen, like I said, I just came to warn you. Don't ever come anywhere close to the house again. It's a warning. Hey, uh, uh, look, uh, you're very young. A few things you do not understand. Let me make it very clear to you. The fact that I have made money and built this house does not remove the fact that I'm still a strong member of that family. I still belong to that family house. I still have a room there. Don't forget. <laughs> Is that what you deceive yourself with? Is that the lie you've been telling yourself? Listen, there is no room in that house for you. Let me, see, I don't want trouble. If you really want to fight, I came here with a trailer load of trouble to upload it on you. Ilgo, can you just shut up your mouth? What is wrong with you? Do you realize you're talking to your own? Hey, my friend, shut up! What is wrong with you? If I don't shut up, what will you do? No, if I don't leave this listen, house, you what will you this, do? Take this thing out of this place. What is wrong with you? Are you mad? I need to take this thing out of If I don't go, what will you do? No, you will sue me to God now. That is the only thing you can do. Charge and pay lawyer. Charge and pay lawyer that got married to a silly oil bunker. Listen to me. My father has a consortium of your type. Plenty. But it's back and call. One call, all of them will fall in. Okay, that's enough. Uh, look, nobody's taking you to court, eh? Eka, Eka. You're still very little. Uh, taking you to court is a waste of my time. Uh, please, you have enjoyed your drama. I don't know who sent you here. Please tell the person that we're not buying it. Just go. Be cool. Huh? Just go. I am not going. Until you tell me that you will not come to that house again. Until you tell me. I'm not going. If you don't say it, I'll beat you here. Nothing will happen. I said I'm not leaving. My own house. Come on, fight me, I'm not ready. Listen, I am not running, no. I am ready for war. Anything you want. Please, don't. He's a devil. Please. This information is very bad. To myself, to my To avoid disgrace. To my sinner, to my daughter, to my demon. This information. You must start talking. About what? No, Mom, look. As it stands now, I'm so famished, I'm hungry. I don't have strength to talk. This is sumptuous meal prepared by you. <laughs> I just received a phone call from Barista Flora, your uncle's wife. And what has that Chad and lawyer called to tell you that has made you square up to me like this, Mom? Young man. 
stop making a whole lot of mistakes. Stop taking a fight to your uncle's house. What if the Muna gets to hear it? Mom. What will you say? Mom, please. Chidobem is not my uncle. And I find it as an insult to refer to him as my uncle. He's not. He doesn't deserve it. Young man, stop going to his house to confront him. Stop it! Why, why do I sense fear? Does he scare you? Just come out open and tell me that you are scared of him and his chat and being lawyer of a wife. Come out open! You know your mother very well. You know I am not afraid of anybody. You have to be decent in your actions. Wise up. Stop going to his house to fight him. They can easily kill you and claim they killed you in self-defense. Okay. Be guided in your actions. Okay, mom. I've heard you. Thank you for the motherly advice. Come on. Thank you. But first things first. Like I said, I am hungry and I need a sumptuous meal. I'll ask them to serve you. Uh, prepared by you? I don't know. I don't like it when somebody has the floor to speak and they likes not to say anything. Daddy, I want to talk to you. And I am telling you that the floor is yours already. So go ahead and speak. I want us to talk about Uncle Chidubem. You see what I mean? You know, does it mean you cannot use your brain? That name you just mentioned now is a name I don't want anybody to mention around me. I don't want to sit anywhere and that name is the topic of discussion. I don't want that. How many times will I tell you this? Daddy, please. I beg in God's name, lend me your ears. Okay. Go ahead. What is it? Daddy, why the long silent war between you and Uncle Chidubem? Listen, eh? You see that topic? That topic is way beyond you. And I don't want to discuss it. Can you stop? Okay, Daddy, I understand. But whatever it is, can you please try to resolve it? Uncle Chidubem is your brother, and both of you should not be quarreling. Ella, I do not have any problem with this young man. I don't have a problem with him. All I want is for him to stay away from my father's burial. That's all. Daddy, why are you silent on the fact that the burial we're talking about is also his father's burial? You know what? This is end of this discussion. I want you to leave. Daddy, we're not... I said get out! Daddy. We won't win Kakama. Doctor. tell you that this is a lot to deal with so please I'd like to be left alone so that I can at least just think okay why do you feel to say the fact that there is battle ahead why my dear husband my darling wife I have eyes you know and I can see for myself what's going on 
No, I don't think you can see anything. Because the way you will allow us to end up would you trust your husband if he tells you that he sees what's going on? And that he has this under control? Of course I trust my dear husband. But the wife is equally saying the truth. Declare then your enemy. And I will stand by you all the way. No, my darling wife, I'll be the last man to declare my family enemy. You're postponing the evil day. What I have said is the only way you will I didn't see this coming, you know. My father never wanted this kind of disunity. But he was there when you built your own house and left. Come on. <laughs> what is wrong with me building my own house and moving out of the family's house? That's growth. We can't read meanings into everything. Now, come on. Uh, come on. He supported me. He prayed for me. It would be wicked of me to understand his supporters, this unity. No, that's not my father. That wasn't my father. You see my problem? What? Your brother hijacked everything right before your father. And he said nothing. Isn't that so? But I have never been interested in the family business. I have always wanted to do oil and gas. And my father at the time availed me all the contact, which I used, and I grew in business. Life has been good. Why should I be interested in the family wealth at this point? Please, can we just change the topic? I know that's the next thing you're going to say. Change the topic. Auntie. Anna. My daddy will soon be here. All right. What about your mother? It's not been long she went out. Is there anything I can offer you? No, 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 don't bother yourself. You're sure? I'm good. <laughs> okay, let me continue what I was doing. All right, dear. All right, dear. Ah. I'm fine, good evening. Anna, how are you today? I'm very good. <laughs> Why? They have not offered you anything. No, 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 no. As if not, brother. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that I'm married does not change the fact that this is my house. <laughs> if I did anything, I know where to get. You win. <laughs> I don't want the trouble of, of Umada. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that uh, this is your house. You know everywhere. Even the wine store, you know where it is. Uh -huh. You can help yourself at any point in time. No problem. Yeah. You're welcome once more. Thank you. I learned that Chude Ben was at the family meeting for Papa's burial, and you walked him out. I don't get this. Uh, could this be the reason you left your husband's house to be here? I'm more interested why you walked him out. I walked him out because I don't want him to participate in the planning for the burial. Why? I don't understand why she's asking me why. I have told you that I do not want him to participate in the burial. I am able and capable of burying our father single-handedly. I don't want you to be able to contribute anything. Even your husband, you may tell him that I don't want him to contribute. We will handle it. Udoka. Udoka, you're making a very big mistake. Chitupem is our brother. And he must participate in Papa's burial. Now, I want you to understand something. That I do not want the trouble of Omada is on the condition that Umada should not want my own trouble. This is my burial. I am the Onoshilo B of this family. And I am telling you that I have decided how Obuefiego Malabuba, our father, should be buried. 
This is a decision that everybody must respect. I shall come point again. Udoka. Have a nice day. Who is trying to your position with you? Udoka, are you working out of here? Udoka. Have a day, have a day, have a day. Check me out. Allow me to bury Papa Money to let you You might jack everything on So why did he say you will not participate in Papa's video? I don't know Could you come No He went to the Could you go with him to the nursery? I was with him all day that they were together. As a matter of fact, I was with Papa when Papa died. And nobody has mentioned this fasting. Unfortunately, it is sad. You know, the, 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 he, he was coughing seriously and, and Udoka had to run to the family doctor to get some drugs. Typical of Papa. He refused. He wasn't going to go to the hospital. So Udoka was doing all the running around and I was with him until, you know, Thinking that you go to family doctor and get his drugs. <laughs> let, me, let, let me get them. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Why is your face like that? What happened? Yes, Uncle. What is the problem? Is everything all right with Grandpa? What, what is, is going on? That Please is talk good. to us. That is normal. What? 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 What, what, what do you mean by Grandpa is gone? That is dead. What's going on here? Daddy died. Huh? Hi. I tried, I tried. After you left, you know, the, the, the cough the cough continued, it became severe. I, I I got confused. I didn't know what to do. I, but I know I tried to to save him, but he gave up. I brought you here because I need us to talk. I want to know what happened between the time I left you with our father to go to the hospital to bring his medicine and the time I came back. What happened? I don't understand. I mean, he was okay when I left. Yes, but all I told you was all that happened. Yeah, he was very okay when I left. Very okay. He was talking. But I came back and I met him dead. How do we do uh, that? Uh, Hold on. Udoka. Are you implying what I'm thinking? No. Are you, are you insinuating that I killed our father? Is that what you're saying? Unconfirmed yet. You know, let me tell you something. A man as elevated as Ubuwe Fiego Malabuba of Umobogiri is not the kind of man they will have to expose to the ridicule of autopsy. Because when that happens, even small, small nurses who are not qualified to see his remains will see the remains and they will make a whole mockery of him. And I wouldn't want to do that. But if you force me to go for autopsy, I will do that. It becomes publicly monitored. Look, and why are you doing this? 
What? Why? What, what have I done to you? What? Why? Why? You know me. I am your brother. Why? Even if you see someone that has my likeness in your dream killing Papa, would you wake up and believe it and accuse me, Mama? That is the reason I brought you here for you to tell me what happened. You have brought me here to read it. Hi. Ha. But yeah, we are still brothers. After everything, you can still talk to me. I will not insult you. I will not be pushed to insult you. Therefore, I am not going to carry on with this conversation. Thank you. Even as he tries to hide it, I can still see there is something he is hiding. I'm happy you know about this. I was honestly embarrassed by that question today. Why would he think so? I'll call him later tonight. See if I can talk some sense into him. Well, he will have to come to that um, reality sooner or later. How's your family, by the way? <laughs> We're fine. And your husband? Is he in the country? No, no, no. He's coming to Germany yesterday. I don't have business tree. Anachia. Anachia. She's fine. She stepped out not too long ago. Oh, she is, and she's not finding it funny. I wonder why he will refuse his brother from participating in the burial plan. Seriously, me, I don't know why you. I don't know, to be honest. I see war between those brothers. But I know Dubai will never agree to stay away from that burial. And Elibia Wago will never allow me to come close. And what is Chief's wife saying about this whole thing? That woman. That woman traveled now. And I only learned that she's not coming back this weekend. So, who do you think she will stand with? Seriously, eh? that woman is guided by reason. And I see no doubt that she will stand with Chidubem or whatever. I don't know. Chidubem is the right person to stand with. Yes, because it will be of a great injustice if they sideline him from the barrier arrangement. My friend, that one is their problem. Let us stand and watch them. That one is their business. Because this one is too much. Let's go. Hey, let us sit and watch them. Let's go. This one is much. I'm a pure Because why not? They should bury their father. They should leave his cause at the much. Hey, that is their business. Because this one is much. Let us. Why don't you eat bury our rice, uh -uh. sister? What you want more, Jiggy? To bury Papa Mommy, to let you my jacket. Everything no one loves. You take everything. Ella, you're here. Huh? <laughs> Does your father know that you are here? No, he doesn't know. Uh, I hope he does not harass you for coming to my house. Uh, no, he wouldn't. Uncle, let's discuss why I'm here. Oh, okay. I learned that my father said she will not participate in grandpa's burial. That's what he said. Did he say why? No, he did not say why. 
Are you going to back out from the bar of <laughs> No, I'm not going to back out. That's good. I mean, it's time someone placed my father where he belongs. Thank you, Ella, for your contribution, but uh, I do not plan on challenging anyone. It's not my style. If you do not challenge my father and force him to stop, he's going to gather unbelievable support from all these corrupt elders and the men of the vigilante, all to stop you. You know, I promised our father when he was alive a befitting burial. That is exactly what I'm going to do. Uncle, how are you going to do that when my father, the troublemaker, is standing on the road? Can I ask you a favor? Yes, Uncle. Can you help me find out why your father keeps insisting that I will not participate in our father's burial? I'd like to know. You see, I have a lot of things coming to mind as it is, but I would... Um, I'd like to work with specifics, you know. That way I know how to strategize. Well, no, that's, that's fair enough. You've tried already. I didn't know you already asked. <laughs> it's not like it's in your place to um, have that kind of talk with him. I'll handle this. Um, is that something you'd like to take? Well, if there's food and nutrition. Food? <laughs> it's okay. Help yourself, there's food in the kitchen. A man as elevated as Uwefie Gomalabuba of Umobogiri is not the kind of man they will have to expose to the ridicule of autopsy. Because when that happens, even small, small nurses who are not qualified to see his remains will see the remains and they will make a whole mockery of him. And I wouldn't want to do that. My love, hmm? what are you doing? I want to call my brother. Why? I want to know why he's insisting that I cannot participate in our father's burial. And you think he's going to tell you? I wouldn't know. Until I speak with him. If you ask me, I would say you shouldn't call him. Your brother Eli Baagwago is so full of himself. He can go to any length to make sure you do not participate in that burial. He knows what he's doing. I need to hear from him still. Fine. If you can call him. Who is that? It's your brother. Oh God, 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 what does he want? My love, you cannot tell until you speak with him now. I don't want to speak with him. He refused to take your calls. The signs becomes obvious by the day. 
And I've talked to him now. Can I not go now? Is that enough for his CC? Talk to him and know what he wants. Baby. Do you know what? Mm -hmm. Switch off that phone. Switch it off. No, no. He had him out first. Know why he's calling me. Okay, now. can you call him and tell him that he is disturbing you? My love. Call. Just pick the call and talk to him. Hello? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> my brother, my blood. I greet you. Listen, I don't have time for all these nonsense pleasantries. Can you just go straight to the point? I am your brother. <laughs> and you and I should be able to talk like brothers, especially at this trying moment in our family. I don't have any trying moments. Can you go straight to the point and stop wasting my time, please? Um, well, I have called to um, know why you have refused to work with me and allow me to be part of the actual planning of our father's burial. You know what? I have a barrier to plan. And this useless question you have just asked me now is one of those questions I don't want to answer now. Don't call this number again. Get lost. What did you say? You dropped the call. <sighs> Your brother is planning something deadly. I can feel it. I feel I should cripple him with court injunction. Listen, Flora. Don't ever take this family to court. What I have going on with my brother is a minor family problem. I would have going to resolve it. Okay? Good morning, you uh, Good morning. I'm here to see my brother. Uh, please hold on, hold on. Why? Oga is not in the good mood to see. And I ask why? They are discussing about you inside. And from the look of things, you are the last person you will want to see today. They're discussing about me inside? Yes. Who are these people? Oga, the wife and Adobe. Do you happen to know what they are talking about? It's not what I will tell you here now. I'll come to your house later, then I'll tell you everything. It's that serious? Yes, yes. I will come and see you later. Allow me to bury my father. It's my right. Allow me to bury Papa Ma. Him. The loyal driver of Ego Mala Abobo Mwabu And now, 
and now the driver of Fudoka, Elwagwago. Yeah, you're welcome. He called me to say that he sent you to me. And I believe you know why he sent me to you. You and Ezebilo rejected the money because Ichie Okolo was there. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy you know. Ichie Okolo is the sector of Umona and the head of disciplinary committee of Umobo Gidi. He France at bribery. That money was not bribery money. Are you serious? Yes, he gave you this money from his heart. Yes. Did he give it to you? Yes, I brought it. Yes, I brought the money. What he gave you before was 200,000. He now added 100,000 to make it 300,000. He just wants you two to be the one speaking for him. Ha, this is why I love Chifudoka. He knows how to spend money. You know what? He's ready to add more. If only you can convince your friend to work for him. Consider it done. I will <laughs> talk to Che Ezebilo today, today. Very? I will convince him today, today. Okay, that's good. But you have not collected the money. Of course. Uh, 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 I can't forget it now. Give it to me. I will give him his own share. Okay, let me today. put this the envelope for you. Do that. Okay. I will talk to him and then give him his own share of the money. Okay. And everything will be perfected. My friend, my friend. Ah, Ibezim. <laughs> you should know how I do my things. I, I don't believe in hurry. In hurry, you stumble and fall and you make mistakes that would come with a lot of consequences. Yes. Mistakes that would cost you even more, so I like to take my time and get things right. Is that what he told you? Uh, listen, I, I, no, that's, no. That was not a conversation. I made it clear to him that I cannot be in Port Harcourt at this time. I'm currently in the village, working very hard with my family members to give our father a befitting burial, so. Yes, that's what I said to him. Okay. <laughs> I'll be glad if you can do that. Oh, of course. I'll be happy to see you and the entire team. I mean, you're all invited to the burial. As long as our clients are happy and all the vessels are in good shape. What? <laughs> I'm busted, eh? <laughs> uh, that was going to be a surprise. Who told you? <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, I bought some new vessels from Japan. Very massive ones, yeah. The capacity should be between um, 2.6 to 3 million um, barrels. Yes. April, they'll be here in April. <laughs> I hope you got us something. Yeah. See who went shopping? No. You didn't? <laughs> Trust me, babe. You did not buy me something? Of course I did. I got you something. <laughs> you better. <laughs> <laughs> so how did it go? Very well. Okay. So tell me, how did your day go today with your brother? Um, not quite well. I didn't, um, I didn't see him. Why? You couldn't go there again? I went there quite alright, but I, I didn't see him. Why? Is it that he didn't want to see you or what? Well, um, I got there and Ibezim advised that I do not go in. Why did he say so? Because they were having a meeting indoors about me at the time I got there. 
But that's not enough reason he couldn't meet you because you were there already. Well, um, Ibezim told me that um, me going in there could lead to more insults. So I saw reasons with him. I decided to take a step back. But he assured me that he would come here later to come tell me all that uh, was discussed. Okay, not bad. That's okay. It's better to avoid troubles. Always. Always. So, what did you eat? I've just been hungry waiting on you, babe. And what do you mean by that? If you could just serve yourself. You're so naughty. <laughs> Come on. You need to eat good food before. I need you. You need food. No, I need you. I mean, what could be better than you? Food. No. Have you seen you? Even you would eat you right now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Mm. Love you so much. I love you too much. <laughs> mm. Ichi. From the look of things, I think there is something you are itching to tell me. Um, you are right, Ichi Okleke. So what is it? Um, I've been itching to tell you something for sure. Udo Keliba Gwagu has done the right thing. The right thing? Yes. What did he do? He has sent some money through his driver without involving Ichi Okolo. So where is the money now? The money is with uh, Ichi and BC. Uh, but, okay, like, uh, mm? um, I need you to understand something. That money is not bribery. It is not bribe at all. It is some good money a brother gave to his brothers to help him in moving his immediate family forward peacefully. Eh? It is not bribery at all. That's there, all. There is peace already, okay, like, uh, there is peace already. Uh, only there was a little misunderstanding. Um, okay, like, uh, let us help the Onochilobi and move this family forward peacefully. Huh? It's okay. Yes. I agree with you. Uh -huh. mm. There is mutual understanding between yes. us. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, we can go back. Mm. Uh, we can go back. Okolo. There is this room of flying around the village. I decided to keep quiet until I see you, so I can get it straight. Well, what you heard is exactly what happened. Udoka said Shidubem will not participate in the burial. Why? Nobody knows, because he did not tell us anything. Oh. In that case, I think uh, he's joking. No, it wasn't a joke. He said it with all seriousness. And I'm hearing that he's still insisting on what he said. Well, um, from my angle, I'm seeing it that he doesn't know what he's saying. Because there is no way Chidubem will not be in the burial ceremony of his own father. The same thing I told him. Exactly the same thing I told him. Hmm. All right. Someone a meeting of both of them. I want to talk to them. Okay. I'll do just exactly that. I will call them on phone on my way home. Please do so. Do so. Thank you. <clears throat> How are you, Shidiban? Uh, good. Uh, I just finished having a meeting with uh, Ichi Akuma. Yes, the, the moon ahead. And he has requested to see you in his house. Uh, tomorrow. Say, about... 10 a.m. will be will be okay. Good. Thank you very much. God bless you, my dear. Thank you. 
in the middle of a meeting when you were calling me before. That's why I didn't pick the call. But I'm good now. Uh, I guess you are done with the meeting now. Yes. Uh, Mazi Akuma demands to see you. Is he back from travel? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. He's back. Good, good. <laughs> so why is he asking for me? Actually, he wants to see you eh, concerning your preparation for the barrier. Okay. When does he want to see me? He, um, tomorrow will be appropriate. Say about 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. There's no problem with that. I will see him. I will see him. I will see him. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. God bless you. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, dear. All right, all right. Good. Is he a coma? Is he a coma? What will I do with you? <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Look, are you mad? Is something wrong with you? I'm talking to you, you're walking out on me. Are you mad? What did you just do? Did you just drag my clothes? Yes, I dragged you. Are you mad? Listen, I'll only let this slide because you're my elder sister. What the next do? time you do it. The next time you do it. What will you do? What's going what on? will you do? What will you what's, do? What's going on here? I asked this it? idiot a question. I demand an answer. And what is the question? I asked him what he went to Uncle Chudubem's house to do. I need an answer. Okay. If you must know. I went to his house to warn him never to come here again. You did what? Yes. I, why, why are you asking more questions? He just told you what he went there to do. I asked you another question. And I, I, I feel he has done the right thing. Because that, 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 that man, that one you call, whoever you call him, children or whatever you call him, he needs to be warned. Okay? Yes. Simple. Excuse you? He needs to be warned by who? See, in the whole situation, he has done the right thing. Exactly what I would have done myself if I had gone there. Yes. He has done the right thing. I don't even understand what's going on here. Why are you talking about Uncle Chudibam in such ill-mannered way? What's it? And then he realized that he is no longer needed here and he moved. Why is he not coming back to this house again? He is no longer needed. What, 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 what is he looking for? So he needs to leave. You know, these were the same words I told him. Mm -hmm. Specifically. Mm -hmm. In fact, I added something else. I mm -hmm. told him he's no longer our uncle. Simple. I don't know why it is only me and you that reason like <laughs> our father's bloodline. This one is not understanding anything exactly what you're supposed to say. Be See, eh? I've been looking like, for like, I've been looking for an opportunity like 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 what you just did eh? to go and hear an insult on that idiot. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. As I'm talking to you, in fact, he's not going to participate in, in grandpa's burial. Never. He's not. It will never happen. Okay. Neither you nor anyone have the right to say that. No, you... Uncle Chiribam will participate in Grandpa's burial. Yes. This one is not in your hands to say. No, she has it's it not right. Says who? Because this one at hand is way too big for you. So shut it. Okay? Keep quiet. You know, hmm? when I keep telling you that I am doubting the blood that flows through her veins, I'm not lying. Mm. A very stupid boy. You, oh, you've forgotten the capacity of your father. You've forgotten what your father can do. Hey, look, I, I am my father's daughter. No, we have to do a DNA. I do not, not care what Which he's one? capable of you? or what he's not capable of doing. All I know is that Uncle Chidubem will partake in Grandpa's burial. And yes, by your orders. That he will not. He will. Just shut your mouth up. I have nothing to say that. It's not a thing to say. So keep quiet. And let this thing just end here. Stop it. Fine. Fine. Let's just leave. It's okay. My friend, leave. No, go and force it. Don't touch me. Bam, up, don't see. you use your mouth to talk. Don't use your hand to talk. Don't I see you. I see you. If I stop.
Well, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I was taking care of something very important. But I'm here now. What is he doing here? Must you wake up every morning with this nauseating character of yours? What kind of question is that? You met me here. Oh, you see, I am not supposed to be in a meeting with this one. So I want him to leave. If anyone should leave, it will be you. Leave! You're the one who walked in here with a bad character. Leave! Okay, that is the case. I'm leaving. How dare you! If you dare walk out on me, the only self whom will conquer family. You will be the one to bury your father alone! I am trying to control myself, to forgive you, to overlook your stupidity for intruding, for interrupting the natural and sacred process of Intunzu. And you have the mind to work out on me? Um, I didn't have time to attend to this matter yesterday. So now that I'm less busy, let's talk about it. Tell me what happened, Ella. Mommy, Eloka needs to be called to order. He needs to be cautioned. Ella, what is this? I mean, what is the meaning of this nonsense? Why can't you take my name off your mouth? What is the problem? Mommy, can you believe that Eloka went to Uncle Chitubem's house? to go and warn him. He went there ready to fight, like Uncle Chidubem is an enemy. Why? I've already discussed with my son on this issue, and an assurance has been made. You need to recall and understand that Chidubem has made himself an enemy to this family, and therefore should be treated as one always. Once an enemy is always an enemy. Mommy, is that what you're saying? I just said the truth. Daddy is the one looking for trouble here. So I expect that you should at least call your husband to order. Shut your mouth before I shut it for you the, 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 the ugly way. Are you mad? Stupid. Ella, I am so disappointed at you. I mean, what is wrong with you? What is your problem? to join with your family. Support your whole family and fight our enemy. Why? I don't, I don't understand. I that that will only happen where I see enemies. But in this context, there are no enemies. Because you are blind. You are so blind that you cannot see. Yeah, look, that's an insult. I will not take it from you. I will not take it from you. Get out! He will insult you the more. And he will continue to insult you. Since you have refused to stand with your family in matters and in times like this. Because you just insulted your father, my husband. Mommy. Yes. How can I insult my father? But you did. I didn't insult daddy. I only stated the obvious. And he just stated the obvious. Exactly what Eloka did. Yes. I just stated the obvious. You are blind. Simple. So, why is there so much hatred from Uchidu Ben? Because he is an enemy to this family. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're behaving like a baby. This discussion is already dented. Initially, I was thinking we will have a very friendly discussion. But with what I'm seeing now, that purpose is defeated. Uh, no, sir. I believe we can still have the discussion. I don't think so. Well, uh, let me go straight to the point so we can return to our private business. I, I will appreciate that. Udoka, why don't you want your brother here, Chidubem, to participate in his own father's burial? Is that what he told you? Udoka, answer my question. Don't respond to my question with a question. Don't do that.
I see. They are not saying anything. Rumor has it round the village that you are insisting that he shouldn't participate in his own father's burial. Well, I, I know exactly what I said. What I said is that he should not be part of the planet mm -hmm. of the burial. Yes. I don't want him to participate in the planning. I am still the only Baguabu of Umogogiri. And I have all it takes to bury my father. I don't need him to be there. Even in the day of burial proper, I wouldn't want to see his face in that compound. But he can go ahead because he has his own money. He can go ahead and set up canopies in his compound and entertain his guests there. Luckily for him, he has a very big compound. The person whose burial we are discussing is his own father too. Have you forgotten that? Uh, is your color? I, I don't want to go into that. Uh, you are going to go into it. Because today I'm going to tell you exactly what I have in mind. I'm going to participate fully in the burial of my father. Take this time to tell these elders what you want me to contribute. Mm -hmm. I'm going to contribute. Yes. Even double. But you see that burial? I'll be very active. I don't want you to contribute anything. Unfortunately for you, you are not the one who caused the shot. I am still the only man who I am the one who caused the shot. And I am saying that I have all it takes to bury Obu Efiego Malabuba of Umo Bogni. Ah. The dog that has developed the habit of going around stealing. We call it the, the habit of receiving beating from every angle. Be prepared to bury your father alone. That is my verdict as only you see. And no one changes it. My love, at least talk to me. Tell me what happened. How did he go? He has bribed the elders. What? How is that possible? I don't know. But he has actually bribed them so badly. My love, how is that possible? Earlier today, you told me the elders were on your side. So what changed? So I thought. But when I got to the meeting, I discovered that everything has already changed. Everything is changed. So what are the, what are the elders saying? Useless elders, people that have already eaten bribe. What do you expect? They are insisting he must participate in the burial. Are you going to allow that to happen? Not when I'm alive, and you know that. So what are, what are we going to do about it? I still don't know what I'm doing. That's why I came back. I want to relax and think. I want to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. That means you need some time alone, right? Sometime alone. I'll let you. I'll see you later, okay? Careful. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Careful. Even when my father was alive, Shiakuma, you had a problem. And now that my father is no more, Shiakuma, you are still a problem. What do you want me to do to you? Shiakuma.
طيب How did it go? The elders are insisting that I have to be part of the burial. Ah, <sighs> may God bless the elders. Do you know that Udoka told me that I should set up a canopy here for my friends? That I'm not allowed to approach the family compound during the burial. Oh, goodness, babe. You see why I said you should give me the chance? Give me the opportunity to cripple this guy with injunctions from all the courts. <laughs> you don't need the courts when the elders are standing up for you. Hmm? So, are you going to listen to him and put the canopies here? The elders have made their position clear on this matter, so we just wait and, and see. But what if the elders collect money from him tomorrow and turn against you? Uh, these are men who hold our tradition and culture to their hearts. They do not joke with anything that concerns Umar Bogiri. I am confident in these men and I, I can vouch for them. Well, at any point you feel they are defeating, please let me know so we can use the court against them. Babe, do not get me wrong. I am a lawyer and we love using the courts. But you must remember that before the courts were her tradition, which in my opinion was more potent. Ichokolo, hmm? the issue that we cannot continue to allow them in this endless argument, Chief Udoka Okinwa must be buried. Oh, sure. He must be buried. That is the debt that we, the living, owe him as the dead. Um, Ichokolo. Yes. For how long are we going to wait for Udoka hmm. and Dubem to sort themselves out? We all know that the problem is Udoka and not Shidubem. Hmm? Udoka should explain to us in very clear terms why he does not want his brother to be part and parcel of their late father's burial. And as we continue to wait for the answer uh, to come, uh. the matter continue to drag. I am of the opinion that Shidubem mm. should set up canopies in his own compound during the burial to entertain his friends. Um, I agree with Ichi and Dubisi. Yes, because if Dubem is seen anywhere near the main family compound uh. during the funeral ceremony, uh. hmm, there will be serious fight too. Of course. Of course. Are the two of you serious? Uh. I disagree with the two of you. Totally, Amame. The burial will take place in the compound of Chief Udoka Okenwa. Sure. Hmm? And Chief Dubem will be there. Sure. Excuse me. Shidubem will not in any way set up another canopy in his own company to entertain anybody. Oh. Uh, Chief O'Connor, uh, huh? look at the problem here. Okay. If we continue to wait mm. for this matter to be sorted out, mm. it will drag a lot. Mind you, if Beren was later on end of this mood, mm. and from the way it is now, mm. it's not going to happen. Mm. Yeah. Now listen. The burial of Shiv shouldn't be our prime concern but the problem in the family. Hmm? It is not done anywhere. I have never heard of it anywhere. Neither have I seen it anywhere. That the first son of a family decides who comes for the burial of the person to be buried and who does not come. Hmm? Shiv Udoko Kenwa, when he was alive, was for the whole of them. So there is no reason why the whole of them should not be part and parcel of the barrier. Um, Ichi mm -hmm. you're right. You're very right. Mm -hmm. But what we are looking for now is solution. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there is problem already. Yes. Yeah? Yes. How do we solve it? 
there's problem. There's no problem anywhere. There's no problem anywhere. Udoka cannot be greater than the than, than the woman. Simple. Good afternoon, Nanyakuma. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine. Sit. Thank you. Nani, there's something important I want to discuss with you. And what is it that you want to discuss with me? It's about my grandfather's burial. Nani, is it right for my father to say that Uncle Chidubem will not participate in the burial? No. It is not right of him to say so. As a matter of fact, your father and Chidubem were here a moment ago. And I asked your father to explain to me the reason he doesn't want Chidubem to participate in his father's burial. And your father couldn't say anything. That's where the problem is. My father has refused to tell us why Uncle Chidobem will not participate in the burial. Nani, please. I want you and other members of the Umuna to prevail in this matter. Because if we allow my father to win, then it will become a norm for every other firstborn son of Umu Obaogidi. And that is not right. Your father will not prevail in this matter. Not when I am still the only seed of Omona. What he is asking for is not in our tradition. He is looking for something where there is nothing. And not when I am still the only seed of Omona. We will never allow that to take place. That one's done. Thank you, Nani. Thank you very much. Once again, we have proven that you're indeed a wise man. Thank you. Thanks to the gods. And may the gods again. I'm going to Abba. But I'll be back before those. It's not a cack in your hand. Yes. You're going to about with the family car? How? Why? As who? As who? I'm going to bring your grandmother. She called your dad and instructed I go to her back to bring her. So see you soon. Oh. This house is about becoming boring again. Why can't this woman stay in her back? What she coming here to do? Now that Ichi Okolo has refused to pitch his tent with Udoka, what next? Maybe offer him money. <laughs> we both know that Ichi Okolo will not accept any kind of endorsement. Ezebilo, we must find a way to make Chief Udoka's wish prevail. Because by so doing, we make more money from him. You're right. And I see the task of making his wish prevail as a tall order. Yes, you are right. But oh, we will achieve it. After all, Chiokolo is a human. He must have a breaking point. If mm. we press on, we get his breaking point and bagam. Yes. And it is our duty to find out what his breaking point is and use it against him. That's it. I will get it there. Yeah. Um, but before we get this done, I think we go and see Akuma and talk to him. Ichi As we for Ichi Okolo to accept the door, let's go and see Chief Akuma. But Ichi Akuma, but Ichi Akuma traveled. He's back. He's back? When did he come back? I don't know, but I was reliably informed. Ah. Yes. Then let's go and see him. Let's go and see him. Ah. Yeah. Enough is enough. Now it's time for action. I have got quiet enough for 
You're back? No, I didn't go out. I've been at the library. Ah. Okay, um, Grandma is back. Wow. That's nice. When? About 15 minutes ago. Uh oh. You basically actually went to about to bring her. That's nice. Let me quickly go see her. Um, Mom, um, I want to tell you something. What is that? If I has finally proposed to me. Really? Yes. That's wonderful. So where is the engagement ring? Can I say it? He didn't give me engagement ring. Why? He didn't say why. He just proposed to me. Are you sure that boy is serious with you? Oh, Mom, he's very serious with me. Very, very serious. I don't think so. Engagement comes with a ring. The ring is the evidence of the engagement. Why are you fooling yourself? At this age, excuse me. Oh wait though. Why did you not give me engagement ring now? Udoka has to tell us his reasons for refusing his brother to participate in their father's burial. If he presents cogent reasons, we will consider his reasons. If he does not present cogent reasons, we will not listen to him. Um, if we could do like this, I am afraid one month will pass and we will not give Chief Doka burial. Um, Akuma. Instead of this matter to drag, I suggest that she do them set up canopies in his compound and there entertain his guests. Eh eh, ba. Na eh eh, kweka, she do them well, oh, Joe, darling, when they know. Eh. We will not allow she do them to fall from up because of the fear of a monkey. <laughs> not on my watch. As the only see of this woman. If we allow that to happen, that means we are encouraging injustice. That becomes injustice to Chidubem. Now my question is, how do we resolve this matter? Yes, how do we resolve this matter? Udoka has to shift grounds. He has to. Yes. I will personally not allow him to prevail over this matter. Likewise, every member of his family. Every member of his family. Yes, every member of his family. His daughter was here moments ago. And I, I discussed with her. I talked with her at length. I discovered that even his own daughter is completely against him. Which of the daughters? Ella. Ella was here moments ago. That girl is endowed with wisdom. I encourage his gods. She is truly a reflection of our blood. She is a true daughter of Umukunka extended family. If his immediate family members are against him, then he should rethink on his decision about not letting them participate in the burial ceremony. Um, um, Akuma. Yes. We thank you for the time you gave to us. Oh, thank you so much. I, I thank you too. It is not easy. Um, as Nanya Bologna said, Akaba Hokisi is here. I uh, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm doing my duty. Thank you so much for uh, coming thank up. Thank you very much. That's what we should do. Mm. Um, thank you very much, Akuma. I think uh, we will be taking our leave. Uh, yes, thank you so much. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello, 
babe. Guess what? <laughs> of course, yeah, you are pregnant for me. Oh, I'm just being naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's just to make you smile, you know? And you got me there. <laughs> of course, uh, because I know the exact button to press. <laughs> okay, so can you now guess? Okay, uh, but you just confirm you are deeply in love with me. Stop, that's not it. <laughs> uh, so what is it? I just told my mom about our love and their intention to make it official. You know what? She, she approves of it. <laughs> really? Wow! <Yeah. laughs> wow, that's great. Yes, don't know how happy I am. <laughs> of course, I am the happiest man on earth as well. So, sweetheart, what about that money you promised me? All right, honey, just hold on. Like I said, I will give it to you by the weekend. By weekend? Uh, my love, that means you won't be able to, uh, to reach me again after this call now. Why? Because the guy I told you that I borrowed that money from is threatening me. The guy even said he's going to collect my phone. He, my love, I don't know what to do. Oh my God. Okay, you, you know what? Just hold on for me. I will call you back later, okay? Uh, uh, please, I will be waiting. Uh, you know, please, I don't want that guy to seize my phone. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't afford uh, not talking to you on my. Uh, uh, please, I'm waiting. Uh. Okay, bye bye. Mm. Bama. Now we take one of them to see I can go home. Bye. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Wisdom, look at him. I go for, I go for one more chief. Him, my man, this guy, hello. Why? Udoka, that does not make sense to me. All I want is for you to tell me why you do not want Chidubem to participate in the father's burial. Mama, I don't know how else I'm going to explain this. I've explained it already. Udoka, make it plain to me. Make it plain. All I want you to tell me is why your brother will not participate in your father's burial. The question should be, what will he be coming to do in the burial in the first place? Is, your... is it money? I have it. Is it connection? I have it. Is it ability to plan? I have it. Access. What exactly will children be coming to do in the burial? What? Udoka. I am disappointed in you. What? What we are discussing here is about your father's burial and not your chain of connections or how much money you have in your account. In a, or in a boss to Zelim Korgen. You are disappointed in me, right? Yes. Yes, Udoka. I am disappointed in you. Uh -uh. I am not surprised. No, do you think I'm surprised? Mm -hmm. I am not. Mm -hmm. Is it not the one you keep calling uh, Oilinia? You are already taking sides. Because he looks like you. Oh God. There's no problem. I feel the, the, the son of a jealous brother here. No problem. Udoka, are you walking out on me? You have just said that I am disappointing you. I want to leave before I disappoint you some more. Look at my now. Yay! Yeah. Udoka! Udoka! Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody somewhere must be beating a drum for you. But at the end of the day, I will find out the secret. I thought you said you will not go to Potter Court until after the burial. Yeah, well something came up, something serious. Something so serious that if not um, handled with... Um, Urgency and decisiveness might lead to an uprising. We're not ready for that at the company right now. How do you mean? All right, so this is what happens. When oil is discovered in the riverine areas of these oil-producing communities, um, the community members 
pose a level of threat to, to companies like ours. That's because she don't take their welfare packages into consideration. Says who? Says me. And that is the truth. No, that's not true. What happens is that the individuals that represent these communities take all that we have for these communities and put in their pockets. Keep it to themselves. We live in a very corrupt country. Yeah, then they should stop giving the money to those individuals. Hmm? Yes, all money should be paid into the community's purse. <laughs> you don't have issues. Listen, it's better you have problems with the entire community than have issues with those individuals. How? I don't understand. Those individuals are ten times more troublesome and dangerous than the entire community put together. They are dangerous because the government allow them. The government has monopoly of instruments of violence and can contend with anyone or any group. True, but we do not have 100% of the government's backing. So we cannot leverage on the government's monopoly of instruments of violence. So you see, we have to thread carefully, you know, play the game eh? so everyone is happy. Eh? So that's where I have to go. Okay, It's an impromptu trip, I know, but I have to do what I have to do. So, let me ask you, when you travel to go solve all these problems, what if your brother buries your father? <laughs> no, Joker cannot bury my father in my absence. The elders are still with me on this. Eh? Plus, I will not be gone for too long. Okay? Huh. Okay. Just say so you miss me. <laughs> do you know I do? I can't see it in your eyes. You already. It's in your eyes, baby. <laughs> Come on, let's see me to the car. I have this under control, okay? Easy, watch your step now. Oh, what's the look on your face? <laughs> Short of words. I can see you are enjoying yourself already. I, mm -hmm. I like it. After I know you leave. We are doing our best. Yes. <laughs> well, I am happy hearing that you are doing our best, but I need to know in specific terms what have you done to make the other elders dance to my tune? <laughs> okay. We have spoken to the cheers. Okay. Yes. Okolo and Akuma. Okay. And from their body languages, we strongly believe that they will shift grounds if well taken care of. Yes. Uh, okay, I need to know how much that uh, will be required for them to shift ground. That is for them to feel they have been taken care of. And they did not state exactly. Yes. But from what we saw, their body languages, if their palms are greased, obviously they will shift grounds. Yes. yes. Then I, I need to know, <laughs> what, that's what I'm asking you. How much specifically do you think will be given to them and they will feel that their palms have been greased? Um, uh, like, two, two, uh, like two million naira each. That is four million naira for both of them? Yes, four million naira. No problem. I am not going to negotiate on this because I understand exactly what is at stake. What you need to do is to get me the accounts and I will transfer the money to them. Um, one more thing, Chief. You know, it's like a political money. They needed cash than in transfer. Uh, yes, you know, when they see the money, the glory of the money will first humble them before their hands touch the money. <laughs> <laughs> I think I understand what that means. Yes. But you will agree with me that arranging money, I mean cash, Nowadays, it's very stressful. Uh, it's not easy yeah. anymore. Very stressful. But give me until weekend, and I will arrange the money cash. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. Uh, that's good. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> I am so happy that we are working together now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice.
Let's not forget, there was something Akuma told us about your daughter. Which of my daughters? Ella. And uh, what exactly did uh, Akuma say that she said? She went to Akuma, pleading with him not to allow her wish to prevail. What? <sighs> no daughter of mine can say that. That's not possible. Um, Elibaguagu. Mm? Maybe no daughter of yours can do that. But for Akuma to say that Ella did it, that means Ella did it. Yes. <laughs> and I advise you call her to order. Yes. Yes. Before she jeopardizes all your efforts. What is wrong with Ella? Well, I uh, thank you very much for this information. I sincerely appreciate it. And the way you are drinking this, I see if you don't like this one. Should I get you another one? Ah, uh, Eliba, -uh, we have been drinking you know, before you <laughs> came down. Uh, we have consumed enough. Uh, that's no problem. Oh, Eliba, -uh, that's good. That's good. Mm. Uh, Eliba, -uh, please, Chief Doka, don't forget what you promised us as got a weekend. Yeah, the BC, I was the one that told you weekend. Well, we are the money people. Don't worry, we can that will arrange the cash. You don't worry about us. Really bad, go on, go on. Oh, that go on. Oh, that go on. This information is very bad. To myself, to my avoid disgrace. To my sentiment, to my no can get to my demo. This information is very bad. To myself, to my avoid disgrace. To my sentiment, to my no can get to my demo. One demo. This information is very bad. To myself, to my avoid this crazy. To my to my no can get to my demo. One demo. This information. To myself, to my one demo. To my demo. To my no can get to my demo. The game. Yeah. What happened? You kept me waiting. Hey, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, lah. The useless or kind of guy. The the the. The doctor kind of have issues somewhere there. So, where is the money now? Where is the money now, eh? It's just key. Okay. Eh? You even heard this here? Ha! Ha! Wow! You did it? Yes. <laughs> I have to because I love you. I have to take some risk. You so much. In fact, I love you to the moon and back. I will die for the sake of your love. I will die for your love. <laughs> you don't know how happy I am whenever you tell me you love me. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Why so soon? I was thinking we could spend some time together. I know, but not now. Why? Yeah, that's what that's, you know, this is what I'm doing. They are threatening me, I need to go and so I don't want to do it. You understand? See, what is important is that you now have the money with you. You can give them the money at any, any, any time. Yes. My love, you know there is one saying that uh, goes, ego na mother they are not. That means money and the money. I'm sort this thing out once and for all to avoid unnecessary stories. You understand? We really am done. I will invite you to come over. Or I will come over and I will go by the way and you will finish yourself. Okay, I understand. Mm, you understand? Immediately. We mm. will spend some time together. Okay? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. So let me just go out and you know. Oh, charm. You see, it's what you do. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let me rush and go and you know do all these things because uh, this thing is done to go boy. I need to I need to resume my duty. Make sure you don't talk to anybody. Oh, I'm a big boom man. Information is very bad. To myself, my to my 
this information is very bad. To myself, my avoid this place. Actually, I wanted us to go out there. I want to discuss something with you. Why? Uh, it's just something little about my grandfather's name. And, and, and who is your father? Um, the late chief, Kilma. Oh, 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 oh. You are the son of the great man. Yes. Chief Okemwa. Okemwa worldwide. What do you want to talk about? Uh, just let me just take you outside. It's one minute. Just a little bit of your time. No problem. <laughs> Thank, so you. Bad Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, your father is a very great father. I was actually scared of him. I know that uh, there are some things you will not want. Your father is the one of the richest men in Umobogidi Kingdom. I see you. Yes. <laughs> and I am so glad your father took over over your grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you want to talk about? Uh, it's actually a small thing. <laughs> are, are you mad? What? what? <laughs> I don't like the way I was looking at you. Is it mad? Did I complain? Listen, I, I am your wrong. I don't need you to complain before I swing into action. You were not looking at it then. Doing hey, Luca. Is it mad? Hey, Luca. Hey, Luca. I'm still doing with Eluka. What did he do this time? He fought someone. What? Why? You will not believe the reason. Tell me. I want to know. Okay. Just because a guy looked at me in admiration, mm -hmm. the next thing, he invited him out and started fighting him. Why is Eluka so arrogant, so violent? He's so hostile to people. Why? It's not good. Now you know why I said I, I don't even know what I'm still doing with him. But that is not enough reason for you to be this upset now. Come on, cheer up. 
Uncle Lake, I wish I can. But I I can't right now because he has ruined my day and I don't want. He has ruined my day with his tout lifestyle. I don't want, please. <laughs> wait, 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 see. I look at is he tout. His father, grandfather, we're all tout. So what what I, what do you expect? Huh? What do you expect? Why are you saying all this? <laughs> look, truth be told, the fact is that you are his girl now. He's your guy. So you should just let him know that this lifestyle will not take him anywhere. It will not. You know, sometimes I, I regret ever getting involved with that guy. I mean, I wish everything I have in common. Oh, look, don't make any decision you regret later. Think, is that what you really want? Do you really want to? Please, I just want to All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> Someone went into my room and he stole money from my briefcase. Who did that? What? How is that possible? I am telling you what happened. The person brought out my briefcase where I kept it. Opened the briefcase and stole money from it. And then abandoned the briefcase there. The idiot did not remember to put the briefcase back where it was. Who, who, who did that? How is that possible? How much was taken from your briefcase? 500,000 naira. Who could have done that? Hey. But, but, but my love, you always lock your room. How did that happen? That is the reason I, I've come for this meeting because I find it very disturbing. How the person gained access into my room and then made away with half a million naira. Who did that? Are you sure your money is even missing? Because your room is usually locked. So you believe that I would just come out from nowhere and say that money is missing if money is not missing? I want to know who did this. I did not take any money. I didn't, I didn't even see the briefcase. I don't know how the briefcase is. I didn't, I didn't take money. Yes. It's obviously not me. I, I can't steal such money. This is bizarre. How can someone steal from daddy? Are you, are you sure he's not, um, what's his name? This is our uncle. Should have been. Maybe he came here when we went around and, and took the money. Yes, exactly. Come on, don't be ridiculous. How can you say something like that? Uncle Chudubeb is way bigger than that nonsense. Uh, uh, but, uh, how, 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 why are you both very stupid? Daddy, but if he... No, how can you bring Chidubeb into this? He came, he came out of from his house to come here and steal money? Are you sick in the head or something? Listen, I, I, I don't want to go deeper on this. Because if I should go deeper, I am going to pin who stole my money. And if I should pin that person, I'm going to cripple the person. Let this be the very last time anybody will steal from me. Because anybody who will steal from me again, eh, that person is gone. You all are come with me. Between two took the money. Like your father rightly said, this will be the last time this will ever happen in this house. Because if it does, I'm going to tell him everything that has been going on in this house. So who between two? Between the two of you who did it? Mom, you know I can't possibly take that. Mom, I did not take any money. I asked a question. Who between you two took the money? She has told you who took the money already. Yes. So and you are concurring. Uh -huh. Let this be the last time. Because I know one of you took that money. I did not. One of you, the thief, knows him or herself.
sit down. Ella, I want to find out. Ella, why are you sabotaging everything I am doing in this family? Daddy, how? I don't understand. You don't understand? What did you go to discuss with the Shia Kuma? The only see of our extended family. Daddy, this family is at the verge of collapsing. Things are about to go wrong in this family if you insist on Uncle Chudubem not being part of Grandpa's burial. You know, it is, it is just clear that you don't even know what I am doing. But I am telling you that you will eventually discover the reason I am doing this and you will be so happy that I did. Daddy, maybe if you tell me why you are fighting this battle, if it's a just cause, I promise to stand by you. You don't need to know. But joining forces with your immediate family is what you should be doing as a woman. Look at your sister and your brother. They are with me on this because they understand what I am doing. Why are you so different? Daddy, going, going to a war with you without knowing the reason why you're fighting the war, it's like going to a battlefield without weapons of war. Definitely the battle will consume me. Dada, you of all people know that I'm guided by reason. I don't act just for acting's sake. You know, at this point, I have no doubt that she the has bribed you. And that is the reason you are standing with him against your own family. I must tell you. What do you stand to gain? Daddy, he did not give me anything. He don't give you anything? So why are you doing this? As a woman of whom are there are so many things you are not qualified to know anything about. And the preparations that will lead to the final burial of a man as elevated as my father, Ubuefi Egumalabuba of Umobogiri is one of those things that you as a woman should not know anything about. Are you not aware of this? Daddy, you should know that I'm not a novice on this. You and I know that you're not telling me the entire truth. Get out. And from today, I am barring you from ever, ever asking any question or getting involved in any way on anything concerning the burial of my father. Grandpa. Yes, my daughter. There is this belief among our people about women in Umabal Gidi that they are restricted from getting information on some delicate matters pertaining to the kingdom. How true is that? My daughter, that is not true. Every daughter of Umobo Gidi is entitled to any information she seeks. So wherever you must have gotten that information, it's not true. So why then were they lying about this? Grandpa, you will not believe that there are so many ideas I've asked questions about. And I was told not to double into those areas. Well, it is very important that we are discussing this matter now. It is only on one aspect of our culture that I know fully well that women are not allowed to participate or discuss such thing when it comes to things that coincide the masquerade. No woman is allowed to participate or discuss anything, not only in Umobogidi, but all over the Igbo land. I see. Mm. Well, thank you. 
You see, it was good I came to you. You are welcome. Now I know daughter. better. You are welcome, my daughter. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. You are welcome. I once made this inquiry from Grandpa on certain information that I am not entitled to as a woman. And what he said to me is completely different from what you're saying now. Now, listen, listen to me, Ella. Whatsoever you discuss with my father, Obuefi Ego Malaboba, who is now dead, is no longer relevant. I am the Odoshilo B of this family, and what I'm telling you now is what you must have to take. My grandfather said I should not allow anybody misunderstand me and that I should always stand for the truth. And that, that is what I am doing. And that's why I'm also telling you that, from all indication, you are the one looking for trouble in our family. What? Daddy, what I just said is the truth. Please, let peace reign. Because I envisage a situation where you shoot yourself in the foot. You know what? Get out. Daddy, I'm being honest with you. Please, listen to the things I'm saying. I said, get out! Take everything, no. Now I love. You take everything, no. This is what I love. I must bury my papa. Whether you like him or not, no. In a banana jam, not if you get it. Now I love. Makina, so much you love it. You want to claim everything for yourself now. But I My love. Ah, hmm. You kept me waiting. Uh, I'm sorry, my love. I'm sorry, my love. Uh, I, I can see you brought some things. Of course. I hope you brought the thing I asked for you to read. Of course. Uh, <laughs> Check, check out now. Uh, uh, all this for me? Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she loves shopping. Thank you. Yes, I love uh, them. I am glad. Uh, I hope you love them. All of them. I love all of them. I am, I am glad you love them. They are all yours. Thank you. <laughs> um, so what about the money you promised me? The money? Yes. Uh, relax. I can prepare. Mm. <laughs> hey. I can see you came prepared. Uh, of course, I told you I came prepared. <laughs> I'm Thanks. a very big guy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you. So, what next, my love? You know what next now? Yes. It's just for me to quickly get to the house, drop these things, and I'll be coming to your house. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting. No, I'm not no. going to keep you waiting. Are, eh? you, are you sure? Very sure. Yes, this thing is already jungling. <laughs> That's a jungle bear, jungle bear. I hope you keep something for me. Oh. When I will keep something for you now. Yeah, see uh, you, I got you. Hey, uh, don't you, give, you don't want to give me a hug? Coming to the house. To the house? Please, please, please. I, I'm already, you know, I'm already stranded. Please, just be fast. Uh, yes, I actually wanted to tell Dubem, but I just felt it wasn't necessary. Right. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you're here now. <laughs> so when did you return? Uh, two days ago. Oh wow. Yes. I can see Abalu looks so good on you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. So where is your Dubem? I traveled to Port Harcourt. I hope no problem. No. You traveled for work. Oh, okay. Okay. I came in respect of uh, Udoka's madness. I want to find out from Chidubem if there's any issue between both of them that made Udoka to tell Chidubem not to participate in my husband's burial. Mama, there are no issues. Huh? Nothing at all. I have asked my husband countless number of times, but he kept telling me he don't have issues. Mm hmm. Okay. 
So why? Why is he insisting that Chidubem will not participate in the burial? Mama, I don't know. Udoka made the statement uh -huh. and says he has a reason for making the statement. We are waiting for him to tell us the reason. He has a reason. So he said. Okay. Pico Mama, what will I offer you? My dear, for now, I'm okay. There is no way you will come to your son's house <sighs> and you won't have something. Flora, but I'm not going immediately. Just let me relax and think of what to eat. No okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, Mama, tell me, the people you went to see in Abba, how are they? They are fine. Oh. They are very okay. Thank you. Auntie, Thank you. Good care of you. <laughs> it's your turn. You kept me with you. I'm sorry. I had the issues at home to settle before coming out. And I don't know why you refuse to come to the house. I need you to understand that uh, time is of excellence and I don't have it. I know. Once again, I say I'm sorry. So why did you insist that I come that you want us to hold this meeting? Because I have very important something to discuss with you. Go ahead, I'm listening. I want to ask you one simple question. And I need an honest answer from you. I am going to give you an honest answer like you are requesting on the condition that you ask me a question that is very clear, void of any element of ambiguity. Thank you. You don't need to take me because I've not answered you yet. You have to ask me the question and uh, maybe after I've answered you, you can then begin to thank me. Udoka mm -hmm. Do you think Dubem, our brother, killed our father? Well, I don't think so. Are you sure? 100% sure. The day our father died, remember? You left Dubem with him to get some drugs. Before you returned, our father was dead already. Don't you think he may have killed him? Well, I already confronted Dubem on this very subject matter and I can still picture his face when he was denying. I believe him. Shidubem has no hand in the death of Ugwif Yegumalaboba. I know his head condition. Before the sickness that ultimately killed him, the doctor had already instructed him to stop taking Otaba. That is enough that he should stop taking it. That his lung was already damaged. He refused to listen. He continued taking it until uh, he became so bad. So he died from that complication. Linking Chidibem to his death is not something a man like me should be doing. It's okay. It's okay. I don't understand. Can you please explain? Why are you sabotaging daddy's effort? I still don't understand. What do you mean? Are you a daft? What is difficult to understand here? Ada, I will take anything from you, but not insults, please. Are you mad? Huh? I'm insulting you? I have every right to talk to you the way I want. You are my younger sister. I can see that you don't have anything important to say. What are you trying to do? You want to walk out on me? Are you mad? Oh, you have grown. Oh, you no get respect again. Ada, please, say whatever you have to say. I don't have all day. Now, on a clear terms. Why are you on Chidubem's side? Why are you supporting him instead of our daddy? And I stand for the truth, no matter who the truth hurts. And I must say, Daddy does not have any right to keep on Kuchitubim at bay during Grandpa's burial. 
He doesn't. He has every right that he is the first son of this immediate Okemwa family. And he has, every, I mean, absolute power to do whatever he wants to do. That's where you get it wrong. The Umuna is superior to the immediate family. And they will not allow daddy to do that. <laughs> My darling. Hmm. Sweet sister. Umuna are nowhere to be found anymore. Daddy has bought them over. So, I will advise, come back to your father. Come back and be on your father's side. Yes, you will be the loser and that won't be nice at all. Hmm? On the contrary, sister, the Umuna cannot be bought over. They stand for the truth. And peradventure daddy dares undermine them. He will face grave consequences and probably shoot himself in the foot. I can see you are itching to say something. What is it? I want to know why you don't want Dubem to participate in our father's burial. You see this very topic? I am done discussing this with any member of the family. She the will not participate in the burial. It's as simple as that. As you have confirmed that Chidube has no hand in our father's death, I can tell you you lie. What? Yes. Chief was his father. And he must participate in his burial. Well, I I was never expecting you to say any, anything otherwise. All of you can continue taking sides with him. But I need you to take my words to him. He is not going to participate in the burial of Obue Fiego Malababa of Umo Bogide. Get out of my car. And if I say I will not get out of your car? That will be a direct challenge of my personality and I'm so glad you know what I am capable of doing. Forget it even when I am going to Udo Ka, I know what you are capable of. And I also believe you know what my husband is capable of. Your husband is a fool. He is not. He cannot do anything and you know it. My husband? Get out of my car. Very nice, Papa. Whether you like him or not. In a banana chamma, if you get a wala. Makina, so much in a bin, so bad. You want to claim everything for yourself. It's been two days now and she has refused to begin my calls. What is all this?
I don't know. What is it? What happened? I waited for you the last time we agreed to see after giving you the money. But you didn't show up. What happened? Uh, I'm sorry, my love. Emergency came up. I have to stay back and sort things out. You're lying to me, right? He said, no, 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 it's not possible. You are the love of my life. And the last thing I would do on Ed is to lie to you. I will never do such thing. <laughs> A reliable information came to me. That you are seeing another girl. No, it, it's not true. Hey, mm -hmm. uh, my love. Enemies of progress have started talking to you. <laughs> Please do not listen to them. We have worked so hard to build this relationship. Please. My love. <laughs> you know me very well. Oh. I know you, my darling. I know you very well. My sweet heart. If I find out that, that you are cheating on me. I will not <laughs> cheat on you. I will never. <laughs> that girl go collect woto woto. I know. She go collect. My darling, I know. I will not she go collect. No, I will, <laughs> not. I will <laughs> never cheat on you. <laughs> you know how much I love you. I will never do such <laughs> Okay. Take your call. Yeah. Important to me right now. Mm. But yes. Okay, so when are we seeing? When are we being together? Uh, uh, by weekend. You sure? Yes. Please tell that person that is calling you, he or she, that she is disrupting our conversation. Uh, sweetheart, uh, do not mind that useless girl. Uh, when she don't call in, she can go and rest. Oh, is it she? Uh, is, is it not the same thing that I, I, I have been telling you? They are the one rushing me. I keep avoiding them the same way I'm avoiding this one now. But they, they, uh, sweetheart, I really love you, so I cannot treat you. Oh, not, uh, don't mind the call, my love. Uh, see, uh, uh, you know how much I love you. And you're a very beautiful girl with a beautiful heart. Uh, see, I can't wait to make you my, my wife. Uh, you know, so that I, I, will, I, will, I, will be, I will be in charge of all this. See, 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 see. Please, don't hurt me. You know I love you. I know. And, and you know how much I love you as well. See, see how beautiful you look. I'm able to share you with anybody. Mm. I want to have you alone. Hey, me, <laughs> I, I, I am not even ready to, to share you with any man. In fact, if I see any man close to you, I swear, I am going to bury that person alive. Are you sure? Me? I, I am more than sure. So you fight for my love. I am ready to kill for your love. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Information is very bad. Too much Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank God I saw you. I was actually on my way to your house. Really? Yes, sir. Oh, wonderful. Uh, is, it, is it a thing we can discuss here on the road or we should go back home? I don't know if it would be okay for you, for us to be on the road talking, but there's something that is bothering me I want us to discuss. Really? Yes, sir. And what could that be? It's about my grandfather's burial and the trouble my father is brewing. Mm. So, what are your thoughts about it? Iche, mm -hmm. is there no other way that you and the other elders can get my father to accept Uncle Chitubem to be part of grandpa's burial? Hmm. Ella, yeah. your father is an adult. Hmm? We cannot force him. So also, we will not allow him to do the wrong thing. 
If there's any issue between him and Dubem, they should sort it out before or after the burial. From all indication, my father is the one causing the delay. And time is fast approaching. We need to bury my grandpa so that we all can go back to our lives. You are very correct, Ella. Hmm? But don't be so much bothered. Hmm? We, the Muna, we are doing something about it. Okay, sir. And we so much believe that with time, your father will see reason with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your understanding. It's my pleasure. You are welcome. I really appreciate your time. Oh, never mind. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Are three minutes late. Yeah, sorry about that. So sorry. Well, I'll hit it straight. So you understand me very well. Hmm? It would be nice if you do that. It would be so nice. So, boss, what's the deal? Eloka. I want Eloka attacked beyond repair. Sir, who, who is Eloka? Don't tell me you don't know who Eloka is. Eloka, the grandson of Okemudoka. Hey, was. Boss, you are kidding me. That, that mission is impossible. No fear on him. I swear to God. I want that guy destroyed. I want him maimed. I want him disfigured. You sound as if you don't know who that Eloka's father is. You sound as if you don't know that family. My friend, what is wrong with you? Of course, I know who he is and where he's from. I know what the family is capable of. Yes, I see, bro. This thing where you talk. Listen. Listen, one day, like a bullshit. All we have to do is cover our faces, be unmasked, and do the myth. Why are you acting as if you just joined this game? Hmm. But I mean, I know if you do that one, no, I bet. I will tell you something yeah, about this guy. He not caught to morale too much. He not caught to morale too much. Jamu, let I tell you, and I will tell you this one from the depth of my heart. Is it your mission? It's impossible. Oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I swear, I don't know what to do. Mogo! 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 Say Mogo why they call my man. Dara and Dara. Don't worry, I'll do it myself. I know how to handle it. I will do it myself. Hello, can watch alone. This information is very bad. To myself, to avoid this grace. To pass the nana, to pass the dokene, to pass the mo. This information. Boy, 
boy will not, will never say so amazing. I don't understand. It's, 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 it's flashing me. It's flashing me. Why is it flashing me? This information is very bad. To myself, to my to avoid disgrace. To my country, 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 How many times have I warned you not to stop your prince in this house, okay? How many times have I warned you? Hey, Luca. Half of me, Togo. I see that you have grown. You will now scream over my head. Eh? One day I'm going to deal with you. Call your father. God, you want to deal with me? No, it shouldn't be one day, it should be today. I said, stand up and fight me. You want to deal with me? Hello. Deal with me! What is going on here? I'm working. I'm working, lad. I said, what is going on here? That! It is him. The same person I have warned never to stamp his feet in this house again. Yet, he brought himself here. What is he doing here? What is it? Dube Morgini, what is it? Eh? Mama, you're back. I'm back, my dear. Hello, Ka. This is your saving grace. Hey. I'm going to come back to you later. Moa, Kena Donk. What are you doing here? Udoka, I see that you have refused to address the fact that your son and you have ignored it. No problem. I am here so that you and I can put heads together. Fix a date. But that is better. It, it, it is so obvious. You thought I was joking when I told the elders that you are not going to participate yeah. in Papa's burial? You thought I was joking or something? You lie. What? It's Sibu Omege. Elomala Abuba was also my father and I am going to participate fully in his burial. Let me tell you something, Chidubemu. Your presence is already irritating me. Mm -hmm. Now that you still have your body members intact, mm. I am advising you to get out of this place. Before Maggie Verma and Demma get out of this place. Udo. Oh, no. Mama, please stay out of this. Moke, this is a family house. Eh? You keep forgetting. Yeah, what I block, Mbana. This is our father's house. I still belong here. Eh? Calm down. Sit down. Let us talk. Let us plan how we're going to bury our father. Failure to do so, Malaruka here. I'm not going anywhere until this issue is resolved today. If God what we go, go ahead, break the sky. Ah, they should leave, oh. Else we will prepare for two burials. Udoka. Udoka. Shut up, oh. Yes, sir. Leave him. Make sure, no. Yes, sir. Udoka. Udad Rose. Oh, we're going to be on Udo. We're going to be on Udo. Udad Rose. Come down. Come down. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. My guy, see what's in there, you know? On a second point, we can do that job. I know Sally is going hard for that job. We can do it. Why, why the sudden change of mind? Nah, I see the kind of person with the ask. We need money, my guy. We need money where we are. And that guy just presented us with a good business opportunity. This is an opportunity to make money. <laughs> I don't understand what you talk. I don't understand. What you don't understand? Hmm? We can kidnap that son now. And ask him, Papa, to give us money. The Papa go give us money. Check him now. <laughs> Wait. You, 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 you didn't just say that. I said it all. See, man, I tell you, how to go about this is simple. We can, we can do it. God forbid. God forbid. See, just count me out of this nonsense plan of yours. Yeah, I must be here and call you. Maybe you've forgotten. But let me just remind you, the late chief Udoka Okinwa was the leader of all the Aboriginal boys in the southeastern region because of this kind of business. Mm -hmm. And they were all loyal to him. Know that one now. 
guy, but but the man is no more now. Nah. Eh? And there must be crack on the wall. That man, that man know that like. No. Again. There is nothing like crack on the wall. You see all those boys? They transferred their loyalty straight to the first son. Look, let me tell you. <laughs> if we mess up with that boy, hey, Chineke. If we mess up with that boy, it will take him nothing to fish us out, and that will be the end of our lives. Guy, okay, forget you just talk as if you know the damn man. You can still give this thing a try. Yeah. There is no harm in trying. Eh? What's it going to be trying try, try again? I, 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 I don't understand. What's going to be trying again? My I just tell you something that you talk about trying. My guy, see your moral day, bro. Guy, you can do this thing. This is not cool. Nah, guy, then you tell me that kind of thing. See, no, this conversation nah, yeah. making us end. I beg. Make it end. This thing now always about wrong. They'll collect more money. Nah, yeah. I'm asking me in a call. I explain to you, yeah. give it now. You talk about the same thing. Make you give and try. Try and wait. Stop, stop, Amo. Stop, Amo. Hello? Tell your husband to leave my house this minute or he's going to be returned to you in body bag. Doka, you, you, you talk too much, Doka. You talk too much. Don't wait for me, may and I. There's something you want to do, do it. Sky for now, yeah? Udoka, what are you talking about? My husband is not in the village. Your husband is, didn't travel anywhere. He is right here before me making trouble. And I am asking you now to Get him out of this place or I am going to do something that nobody will like. In fact, nobody will hold me responsible. I want to figure, man. I want to figure, man. You can't do nothing. Nothing. Are you hearing his voice? Oh my God, what is he doing there? I don't know. But call him and find out. Okay. Udoka, do you want to kill your brother? Listen, eh? if you believe you are a man, wait for me here. Udoka, what is bigger than that? Udoka, I am going to sit here and wait. I need to see you do your worst. This nonsense has to stop. I have respected you enough, yet you don't want respect, so let there be war. Hey, hey, stop, stop shouting. You better stop shouting. Hey, you, you will not return to your wife in one piece. piece. Biko, Biko, cheat me, Biko. Biko, 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 Biko. What is this now? What oh. is this? My husband's body is in the mortuary. And you people are doing this. No, uh, mommy, I'm not doing this. this? Uh, your son, Udoka, is doing this. Not me. Biko, <laughs> mommy, leave me out of this. I have been ready to bury Papa. Why is he throwing his weight around? This has gone on for far too long, Mama. And I am tired. So you cannot blame me. Blame your son. My husband, for the very first time in a very long while, I am pleading with you to please listen to me. Just this once. I do got my very beautiful wife. Stop getting this thing twisted, for you know it yourself that I've always listened to you. Prove it this time by remaining in here and not going out there. To avoid this temptation, he wants you to commit murder. And I am going to commit that murder today. No. To put him in his place and face the consequences. No. Please, I'm begging you. Because you know, Mama, because you know, because you know, because you know, because you know, because Please, children, listen to your mother. Because let us kill this demon before he kills any of us. Because just leave. Leave, leave, leave to where? Hey! Mama, leave to where? This is also my house. This is my father's house. Where have you been? I'm not going anywhere. This madness has to stop. Hey, it will stop, Chidubem, but not like this now. How else? Mama, what have I not tried? I have tried peace resolution with your son. No! 
He wants war, so he's going to die war. You want to approach my father with war? If you got it, how you my father will cross you? Let's do that. Get that boy stop. Ask him to see my floor. You're talking to me. Chidubem, Pico, please. You can't fight a boy you know the day he was. But I am going to teach him the lesson that his father has refused. Sure. To teach him. There is nothing you can do. Okay, okay. Do nothing. Let's take a step. Oh. You, you can do nothing. Oh, oh. oh. It's so late. Mama, it is because of you. I know. It is because of you, Mama. I know. She's a very big girl. 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 The best husband ever. You know I love you. My love. Please hand me the gun. Give me the gun. I am sorry to disappoint you. I do go my very beautiful wife. You see this gun? It's loaded. As Shudubem has decided to test the masquerade of me, I am going to waste him and face the consequences. Listen to me. I don't want peace. I want problems. My love. Problem will overwhelm us. People will give it different interpretation. You know our enemies. Our radios without battery. We paint it so red that we will not see anywhere to hide. Think. I asked him to leave. You know what? No, no, no. And he refused to leave. He stayed back. You see this gun? I am going to shoot Shidubem. For him to understand I am not a man who will ask somebody to leave. And the person will decide not to obey. Okay, you know what you're going to do? Don't kill him. Just shoot one of his legs. And if he refuses to leave, shoot the second leg. But don't aim at his heart. Just punish him. Udoka, I have now confirmed that you are really sick. Who is sick? You are sick, Udoka. So you actually went in to bring a gun to shoot your brother? Who is my brother? Don't shoot a fool! Listen, very soon, you in particular will understand what I am doing and all of you will be put to shame. What exactly are you talking about? I don't, I don't want to begin to join issues with you because I know you are with your son. But let me tell you something very soon. When it happens, you will be the one that will ask him to stay away from the barrier. Hey, I can see there's so much hatred from for, for your brother in your eyes. Nenanyagi. Eh? What is this? My worry is that why did you not manifest this hatred before your father died? Because this is the best time for me to deal with the situation. What situation are you talking about? The situation that I'm dealing with already. Why did you ask him to leave? You should have stayed back. Let me, let me go put up his brain. You will understand what, I, what I'm saying. Hey, Udoka, there must be somebody somewhere beating this drum for you. Who? But whoever it is, I want you to go back and tell them that they are leading you to. to I am that one man, Ryan Squad of Umobogiri, who beats his own drum. Is your cool? Nobody can beat my drum. Nobody can beat any drum for me. Let me be very sincere with you. Eh? Hey. You see that son of yours. Don't worry, very soon, hey. when everything is in the open, you will understand exactly what I'm doing. Hey. You are Your action does not depict a man who knows what he's doing. Definitely, Anya drug him It is my action, not your own, my own action. Let me tell you something, I am that one man who hey. knows when he is right and when he is wrong. This time around, I am right. And the one, it, had it been you didn't ask this fool to leave this place, I come and give you a good place here, but I'll be here. Hey, hey, hold 
Onyembe Gifa. Udoka, who did this to you? When your father was alive, you couldn't have done this. Dead men don't bite, really. Dead men don't bite. Oye wone awongo. What is it? Did he hear? Did he? Is it? Is it that he had something? This is not ordinary. This is not ordinary. But if he had something, what exactly did he hear? I'm ready for you. Don't worry. He will see you to them. You will kill me. Kill your brother, then kill me. Wait. See now. Where did I keep my 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 cap? Hey, I'm a me pen name. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Udoka! Thank you for listening to me. It's fine, baby. I had to leave because of you and, and, and my mother. Thank you once again. So, when are you coming home? No, no. Not yet. Why? Where else are you going? You came in from Potakot and refused to come back home. Yes, I'm going straight to see Iche Namdi and Ichi Okereke. Why? Listen, I need advice from these elders so that we know exactly what to do. If we allow Udoka to continue this way, I assure you that at the end of this year, we would not have buried Papa. Something has to be done. You're right. So, when are you coming back? Um, I'll be home as soon as I'm done with the meeting with the elders. Okay, I'll be waiting. Do you need me to prepare anything for you? It's okay, baby. Um, I'll eat whatever I'll have at home, okay? Okay, baby. Please. Take good care of yourself. Sure, baby. Love you. Love you too. See you soon. away from this burial for peace to reign. Please, let nothing happen to you. Oh boy, if the more we argue about this, the more things get bad. I just want a date to be fixed for the burial. That's all. Now, whether I participate or not, to me right now is immaterial. Okay. We cannot fix it for the banger without you and your brother concerned. We can't. My brother has refused to listen to anyone. He has refused to listen to anyone. What are we going to do? Are we going to wait forever? The good thing is that none of the elders are on his side. And he will just take a very short time and he will come to his senses. I cannot wait any longer. Obwefi. My brother is trying my patience and I'm ready to fight him. I'm ready to take him on however he wants it. Our father has to be buried. Children, you have been a very gentle man right from the onset. And I want you to keep up with that. Keep up with what? Oh boy, if you, this man is frustrating me now. You can see what he's doing. He's taking my gentility for granted. Instead, maybe you should take the matter to him. And then it will be said that I have reported my brother to the chief priest. Of whom are you giddy? Huh? You are not the You are only looking for solution. Make it look as if you are seeking for clarification. As a why does he want to speak to me for that thing? Yes, but everyone has been asking him to know exactly what his reason is and he has refused to speak up. Just go to him. You will tell you what you want. So that means you'll be reporting your brother to the DBA. Mm -hmm. That man is actually not a DBA, he's, he's a priest. And from what I have gathered, he's the only one that can put an end to this drama. Are you sure he's going to tell the man why he doesn't want you to participate in the burial? 
Well, from what the Chio Koreke told me, um, once Udoka gets there, he will not be able to lie. And you are sure there is no hidden agenda behind it? What are you talking about? What kind of agenda? I, I don't know how to put it, but I just don't believe in all these men with red powers. You know, they know how to manipulate things. Mm. But what if you look at your face, it's not a man that you can manipulate. Um, his, um, <sighs> his reputation precedes him, right? Like I said before, I believe he can solve this problem. And you know, Mama will not be happy if you go there without telling her. I know. And that is why I'm going to align with her later on. Uh, uh, if not that you're my wife and I share everything with you, I wouldn't have told you about it, baby. Uh, these are things that you keep very close to your chest. Huh? Don't worry. Uh, we're on course. Okay. You requested to see me. Yes, great one. I'm listening. Speak. Um, great one. Thank you for granting me audience. Call me Zalosi. I do not fancy that title, great one. Chukwoki Kabiyama is the only great one. I am not great. Go ahead, I'm listening. Um, noted, his Alosi. I assure you that that mistake could not repeat itself again. However, I still want to thank you for granting me audience. Granting audience to all sons of the soil is my primary duty as the chief priest of Umu Obogidi. Uh, so, let me hear you. Um, his Alosi. As you are aware, my father is dead and is presently in the mortuary. A big mistake on your part. Yes. You should have buried the man the very day he died. And then settled down to plan and announce the funeral. Yes. Look, if we Ibos must rekindle our spirituality, then we must learn to bury the dead as soon as possible. That is the way it should be. I see your point, is Alose, but the mistake has already been made. Um, the burial date for my father should have been fixed by now. But my elder brother, Udoka, the one that took the title of Eliba Gwagu, of Omo Abogidi, um, is insisting that I will not be part of our father's burial arrangement. Well, I... Um... That news filtered into my ears, and I laughed. Uh, did he say why he made such a demand? No. Did you ask him why he made such a demand? Yes, I have. Um, not just me. Um, every other member of our family have asked him this question, and he's not saying anything. There is more to this than meets the eyes. There is. I know it's Alosi, and that is why I have come to see you. Tell him I want to see him. Today, in the evening, and come with him. Thank you, Zalosi. I am going to do as you have instructed.
What in God's name are you doing here? Should be do you finally want me to kill you before you stop coming into this copper? Eh, uh, Elibi Agu Agu. You see that you are the Onochilobi. Does not mean that you now have the traditional right to stop me from coming to my father's house. Oboroke Simia. You need to understand that. It's very important. Hmm? You, you see that day, our father, you see that day he dedicated your house in your name. You got disconnected from this place. place. I thought that you're a traditional man. You should know this thing. You have missed it once again. Uh, you are wrong to say that I have been disconnected from my father's house. Umbala. Are you trying to turn tradition upside down? Eh? This is where my mother still lives. This is where our father, Chivokemwa, be buried. This house is me. I am this house. Uh, these are things that you and I need to be clear. I don't want us to go into this argument. Can you tell me why you are here or you are going to force me to throw you out of this compound with immediate effect? Eliba Gwagwa have come with a message for you from Obu Filoputi, Kalam Mad or Kalam Mo of Omobogede. What? Hmm. You finally developed the guts to report me to the chief priest of our kingdom. Obuefi has requested that you have to come see him today. You see, on this very case, on this very angle you have brought into this thing now, trust me, I am going to finish you. Yeah, Becca Zomo. Uh, before you finish me, my brother, I was actually hoping that I can join you in your car. Let's go and park here, my car here. I just see a potato. I gotta go. I pick up my car. I gotta go. Uh, can I join you in your car? You must be sick in the head to think I will ever want to ride on the same car with you. <laughs> nah, this man in your line. You are just impossible. I'm going to. Messi again over there. Messi. Drive behind me, eh? Me put as usual. Allow me to bury my father. It's my right. Allow me to bury Papa Moni Juraju. You hijack everything. No, no one You take everything. It's so bad. I must bury. Hmm. That sounds so funny. How do you achieve all that? The life of that young lady. It's what I call the life of a miracle. Mm -hmm. mm. When I asked her, this question you asked me, do you know what she said to me? No. What God cannot do does not exist. Really? My love, what is, what is the problem? Why, why is your face like that? What is it? Tell us now what happened. Mm -hmm. Don't look happy. What is it? Your son. Your son. The same one you have continued to call Oyelineya. He has reported me to Wefilo Putife. The Ezalusi of Umabogidi. Mba. For what? For why? Listen. He has actually bust himself into a corner where I am going to Roast him like grass cutter. Marunya Kanuchi. Udoka. He has shot himself in the leg. Oh my goodness. When Udoka. I, there, Udoka. I am going to finish him. Udoka. There is something wrong somewhere. The Chidube my no cannot do a thing like that. Mbanu. Why have you continued to underestimate this useless son of yours? He was the one who just told me. That he reported me to Wolfie and you're telling me here that they cannot do it. Wait a minute. That means he was here. Yes. He came here. So, so where is he? Is he still within the premise? I am not ready to answer that question. But both of you will bear me witness that Shidubema has just started the war. Makachineka, I am going to fight him to finish. Udoka. 
Udoka wele kwa niya wanyo. Mbocho ka jeneza. Wele niya wanyo. Haide jeneza alo sinu. Udoka, this is your younger brother. Udoka wele niya wanyo. Okay, Nede. Jawa wa sakene. Can't you talk to your husband? Mina? Yes. Why are you sounding like that? Sounding like how? Can't you talk to him? Is he not your son? You have already spoken to him. When your son went to Desiree, what was he thinking? It's your. You should have stopped him. You go and talk to your son. Why are you making the blame to me? I'm not wanting you to tell me to go and carry what. He should defend himself. So Don't what is like happening this. now? You like it? I'm, did I say I like it? Okay. Go on. Hello. Chidobem, what have you done? Mama, I'm sorry, but at this point, taking the matter to Ezalosi is our last resort. I am done tolerating Udoka. Enough is enough. You should have told me before you, you decided on this kind of action. And then you would have discouraged me. And then we keep going in circles and Papa will not be buried. This thing is dragging for too long now, Mama. Uh, we cannot continue to indulge Udoka. Chidobem, this singular act of yours is going to tear this family which is already at the verge of collapse. Mama, no. This would fix the problem that is comforting us as the family. Why would Udoka say that I cannot and will not participate in my own father's burial? Why? He has to tell us. Chidubem. Chidubem, but you know I told you I am going to sort this out. That's all you... Mama, you said you were going to solve this problem two weeks ago. Why in the third week, Mama, you have not done anything about it. You have not done anything about it. Come on, Mama. Someone has to call Udoka to order. He has to tell us why he does not want me to participate in my father's burial. Where are you? I'm on my way to his house. Good. Go back to Obwefi. Withdraw this case. Then we as a family will sit down and find a lasting solution to this. I'm sorry, Mama. I hate to disappoint you, but I will not do that. Bye. Chidobem, how about your phone? Oh God. Okay, 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 oh God. Is my right. Whether you like him or not, in a banana jam, if he can now, Makina so much. Chukwo Kikai Biyama has given us all the wisdom and knowledge it takes to solve every single problem that comes to us. But we humans refuse to be sincere in solving these problems. And that is why we seem to be overwhelmed by very minor challenges and problems. Uh, do you agree with me on this? As I will say, <laughs> By my standard, your question is framed in a way that can confuse somebody. And uh, until I have understood your question, I will not be able to give you a straight answer. So, um, if I ask you a direct question, can you answer me? Yes, Halusi, if I have an answer to your straight question, I will answer you. Why are you insisting that Chidubem here must not participate in his father's funeral? Why? I am insisting. And uh, as I always say, let it be on record. This is the very first time I am mentioning this to anybody. I am insisting he will not participate in the funeral. Because the same Shidubem you referred to now as the son of my father is not my father's son. Elibagwagwa. what is wrong with you? What, what, what do you think you're doing? Is it that you don't have limits? What kind of nonsense are you spewing before the priest of the land? Uh, Chidubem, Chidubem. Eh? Uh, ju just hold on. Eh? Calm down. I'll get back to you later. Um, you see, there is no need seeing things you cannot defend. Huh. Or do you have evidence? Enough evidence to back up your claims? As I say, I have evidence. I have a lot of evidence. Produce your evidence. 
and on the strength of this evidence, I may or may not agree with you. Is that what I don't understand. Don't tell me you want to listen to this. Shut up and stop interrupting this one of the gods. I told you that I'm going to deal with you, and you felt I was joking. The process has just started. <coughs> this thing I'm about to tell you is a very deep secret I've been holding to myself. But seeing the way my head is deteriorating, I know very well that my days are numbered. <laughs> After I married your mother, she was seen seeing another man. <laughs> How could that be? Let me tell you how I met your mother and how I married her. What is it? So we meet again. Good afternoon. Ebi, see, I'm, 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 I'm sorry for stopping you. I'm sorry for stopping you. Good afternoon. Uh, but you know, the, the other time, I, I tried talking to you, but you were so much in a hurry to listen to me. And I'm still in a hurry. Ebi, take a break now. Easy. What, what is it yeah, now? It's too much. All the time I'm in a hurry and I'm in a hurry. Give me one minute. Oh, yeah, eh? talk. You have one minute, talk. Eh, 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 eh. You know, I, I, I like you. Oga, talk now. Uh -uh. Ibi, I like you. Uh -huh. And I want to make you my wife. <laughs> I'm not ready to get married. Rubbish. Ibi, it's not like that now. Hey, I must get you. All you to take is money. Okay, forgive me. I'll get you down. Eh? You are welcome again, my son. Thank you, Nai. This one you came to my house with a bottle of snap. What will I call it? I come in peace, Nai. I come in peace. Eh? All right, I'm listening. I remain an Ichi in Umo Baogidi. No matter what happens, I must first attend to my visitor before anything else. Hmm. Nai, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll keep it very simple. Very, very simple. Uh, I met a very pretty girl on the road. And I asked. I was told that she's your daughter. Are you referring to Ebele, my daughter? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Nai. She's exactly the kind of woman I want for a wife. Um, but I have tried talking to her. She's not giving me attention. That is because she doesn't know you. So, how would you want me to come in? Uh, I want to marry her. And this is a decision I took on my own. And nothing will make me change my mind. Uh, as a father, I want you to help me talk to her. Consider you done. Any young man who can boldly present his point is the kind of son-in-law any right-thinking man would love to have. Hey! Hey! I don't have to consider it twice. Ah! Nay. No. You have it. Hey! Hey! Nay! No. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you have just proven to me that you are an Ichie in the real sense of the word. I promise you, your daughter will be the happiest woman on earth. Be my wife. You know the things that are required. So, you go home 
Prepare yourself. Then let's set the ball rolling. <laughs> nah, that's all. <laughs> Very simple. You will see me here as quick as possible. It's all right. You can Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My husband. What is it? Hebele. Yes. Where you seen another man apart from me? I want you to answer me with the truth. It's Yoko. Is that why you called me here? I mean, this is something you could have asked me inside. And I would have answered you without raising an eyelid. I brought you here because the matter is of great importance to me. Do you have another man apart from me? Or were you seen another man before I married you? Yes. Ah! Ah! Why didn't you tell me? I mean, you didn't give me time. You were so much in a hurry. I, I, I tried explaining things to you, but you, you convinced my father. And you paid my bride price. I just had to follow you. I, I can't disobey my father. You're wicked. You are very wicked. I need to understand this. Are, are, you blaming, are you blaming me now? I'm not blaming you. How can I even blame you? All I'm just trying to say is that you didn't give me time to explain things to you. You were so much, you just wanted to marry me. My husband, my husband I'm, I'm sorry, please. When I discovered that I did not marry a mother, a virgin, I hated her. Sometimes I wanted to just throw her away. But when I remember the maturity of my father-in-law, <coughs> Ichi Nana, who trusted her to me, I decided to carry on. That was a very nice thing you did, Father. Thank you, my son. I decided to forgive and forget. <coughs> and move on with my life. As if she is the woman of my dream. Not until when she did the worst. <coughs> Father, what did she do? Your mother is classless. I regret marrying her. How have you been? I'm fine, and you? I am okay. You forgot me completely because you got married. How would you even say that? You know I'm not a married woman, and I shouldn't even be seen around you. You know how people think. Well, it's okay. Um, I learned your husband is not treating you fine. That's not true. Come on, don't even lie to me. The news is everywhere already. It will soon be a thing of the past. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Do you mind if I talk to you? No, 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 no. Eyebrows will be raised and I don't want that for myself, please. I will be fine, please. So you prefer he continues to maltreat you? No, no, that's not it. See, as a matter of fact, I've already spoken to my father about it and he said he would change. So, I'm sure he will change. Now you're talking. I heard you're getting married. Yes? I'm happy for you. Thank you. Hope she's beautiful. Just as beautiful as you are. You can say that. Thank you so much. I'm happy for you once again. And I'm happy that you're also happy for me. I need to start going before my husband starts looking for me. Can I at least get a hug from you before you leave? A hug? I am a married woman. It's nothing, it's just a hug.
good afternoon, my husband. That good afternoon, he would there. Where did you come from? I went to see my father. Oh, you went to see your father? Hmm? Or, yes. or your parents? Anyone? So, so your parents now wearing white shirts and long trousers with long beards? Eh? See, if you don't tell me where you're coming from, eh, I'll so deal with you in this house. <coughs> After telling me those lies, I discover she cannot be trusted again. I have that personal conviction that that child she's carrying in her womb belongs to Bawanya. Chidubem is the child. He is not my blood. Papa, I am actually tongue-tied with this revelation you have just given me now. I know you will be. <coughs> but please, do not be surprised when I start taking some measures that will not be favorable to Chidubem. But, but why will... Why will mother do a thing like that? Just like I told you before, your mother is classless. She can settle for anything just for her to be able to satisfy her sexual desire. So, so what do you want me to do now? Very good question. What I want you to do now is just be calm and watch. I will tell you what to do and how to do it at the appointed time. Please, my son. Please obey my instruction. Okay, Father, there's no problem. Thank you. Yes, hello, sir. Bawanye is his father. A man of this kingdom who is still alive. A man that I have traced to his house in the remote village where he lives in Omobogiri here. If Chirubem here is desirous of burying a father, let him wait for his father to die so he can give him the befitting burial he's planning. He cannot participate in the funeral of my own father. That is it. Your father did not tell us anything about this. Uh, because it is not everything a man will begin to say to people. I am the Onoshilo B of the family. And that's why he told me. Well... The tradition of Umo Obo Gidi, and of course, many towns in Igbo land, stipulates that any child born by a woman is owned by the man who paid her bright price, whether biological or not. The one who donated the sperm to fertilize the egg has already settled himself with enjoyment he derived from the intercourse itself. Yes. Therefore, he cannot claim potential of the child. Honestly, Zalosi, I don't know where you are going with this argument. Chidubem is the son of your father. Yes. Your father, Chief Doka, paid his mother's bread price. Therefore, he belongs to your father. Zalosi, this is unacceptable. She would do a kaokemwa, the ego malabo bankizizi of Umobogidi, rejected him in his lifetime. Why are you now trying to impose him on him now that he's dead? I'm just telling you the law of the land. Yes, he is the son of your father and must partake in his father's burial. Why are you even so shameless? I don't understand this. Why are you shameless? Why can't you go back to your father? Why are you clinging onto another man's father when your own father is still there? Now I'm a Hey, stop making unguarded statements. Please, not in my presence. You asked your father what he wanted you to do. And he told you to wait until later. At the end of the day, he ended up telling you nothing. I am the priest of the land and I am telling you what to do. And you must 
back into my voice. I'm really, really worried. She's not picking my calls. That's why I had to reach out to you so you can help me talk to her. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> Maybe her phone is bad. Um, if her phone is bad, she should tell me. I'll get her a new phone as soon as possible. Wait. On the contrary, I don't think her phone is bad. I think she's avoiding me on purpose. Why? I fought again. <laughs> Eloka, you are always fighting. It is not like this one was a serious fight. The guy insulted me and I had to teach him a lesson. Simple. I didn't do anything further than that. Just teach him a lesson. Oh, wow. Okay, so what exactly do you want me to do for you now? Um, I want you to beg her. Convince her to pick my calls. That's just it. This is the fifth time. Fifth time I'm begging her on your behalf this month. She is this month. A month has 30 days. You begged her for me only five times. So add this one and make it six. And I promise I will not do it again. This will be the last. Just help me talk to her. All right, fine. I will talk to her. Thank you. So how how fast will that be? How Hope, soon? Hopefully by weekend. Weekend is far. Ha! Do, do you know what's today's day? Weekend is far. Can you talk to her today so by the time I get home before evening I call her? <laughs> but then you must have spoken with her. She pick and then we talk. Make it today, please. Alright, fine. Let me let me just let me talk to her first. Thank you. I'll get back to you. <laughs> you have to change you. This is your fighting is so I, much. It was not a serious fight. I just So this is it. That is why you have been fermenting trouble. All of you needed me to provide you with an explanation as regards why I am doing this. I have provided it. Who and who were there when Daddy had that discussion with you? Nobody. <laughs> then, whatever you're saying, just hold water. What do you say? Now, I need you to understand something. I have taken a stand on this. She Dubem is not going to participate in the barrier. Never. What? Doka, let me tell you. This thing you're doing is capable of destroying this family. And I will advise you stop. You don't have what it takes to advise me. And moreover, I am not one of those men that will stop what they have started. Can't you people understand it? Udoka. Udoka. Don't say I did not want you. I will follow one of the ruler. I will follow one of the ruler. Stop telling me that you are warning me. Be very careful. Stop interfering with the things we do here. Go back to your husband. Come with me. Inna bana la chama ifi gena wala makina so machina dinas. My gift. Diki, my love, please, this is not the end of the world. But it looks like the end for me. No. What is this? What is going on? Please, do not let this bother you. What am I going to do? What matters most is that Obwe Filo fair insisted that you must take part in the burial. It's not about the burial. This, this, this is not about the burial. This, this has nothing to do with the burial. This is about how I feel. This is about, about my reality. How is it that the one that I've always called father is suddenly, 
Suddenly now, it's no longer my biological father. Where do I... How? Where do I begin? Honey, please. Just calm down, please. Don't let this get to you, please. Do not let this bother you at all, please. I beg you. How can this not bother me, sweetheart? Come on. I suddenly feel small. I feel like... I feel like disappearing into thin air. No! No, my love, please. Do not do this to yourself. I beg of you, please. Don't do this to yourself. Please. Do you know why? And why? Why did Chief not tell me himself? Why? Why did he not tell me? That's because he doesn't want you to be devastated. Ha! That was why he didn't tell you. Please, Obim, just calm down. Oh. My mother has a lot of questions to answer. No. No. No, please. The last thing you will do is to put that woman under unnecessary pressure. I will not let you do that. Besides, what your brother said has not been verified. Until it is verified, that is when you can do whatever you want to do. But for now, please, I just want you to man up. Man up, my husband, please. Let us just take it as ordinary claim. I beg you, please look at me. I want you to be a man and face this battle. Let us face it together. Okay? Please. That guy, he's, he's like a kid. Look, all this, I know you have a say in it. How do you mean? Look, we can see that you're the more matured one here. So keep talking to him and fashion him into the kind of man you want him to be. Uncle, I have been talking. I've been talking to Eluka, but he's too hot tempered for my liking. Look, work on him. I believe you can change him. If you truly love him, don't give up on him. What are you even saying? This young man fights like a mad dog. He fights in every given opportunity. It's not even as if he fights to win. They beat him up. See, I know you can change him. I know you can. I hope so because I am not ready to go into marriage with such character. I am not. Wait, wait. Is there something you're not telling me? I'm sorry that I didn't tell you. He asked me to marry him. Ah, my God, so what did you tell him? Ah, what did you tell him? What did you tell him? I told him to wait. Okay? Because 
I want to see physical changes in him before I can accept his proposal. Really? Yes. Ah, Iluka. Okay, okay, maybe you have a point there. But don't take too long. Too long? I know, I know, I won't take too long. <laughs> I just feel like he changed. My friend is going to be a married woman soon. Oh my okay. god! I didn't even know. <laughs> can you see it? Can you see the kind of person you have been supporting all along? <laughs> An illegitimate child. <laughs> you know, I always knew there was something wrong. That is why I refused to accept him as my uncle. I just knew there was something. What if daddy said what he said just to discredit Uncle Dubem? Yes. Hey, 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 don't even start. Don't even bring in that useless logic here. Because we will not accept it. Whatever daddy said, happened. So take it. Listen, let me advise you, sweet sister. It is time to change league. <laughs> you understand? Support daddy. And stop all this nonsense thing you are doing. It's time to change. I do not support evil. I will not support evil. What daddy is doing is evil and both of you are supporting it. Why? Why are you always so daft? There's something wrong with you. Are you mad? You just slap me. Don't slap me again. Are you mad? Why, why you just slap me. You? Are, you, are you saying How this nonsense? Are you mad? Hey, hey. You want to fight a woman? Stop What's wrong with you? What do you want to do? Stop it. You, you want, want to hit me? You want to fight you a woman? Hit me. Leave me now. You, want you, want to to you, you do not see why she slapped me. Two times. What is enough? Yes. I know you blame me. I know you blame me, but I don't care. Calm down. I'm tired of this nonsense you do in this house. Please. Calm down, you're a man. Are you seeing the nonsense she just did? Just calm down, you're a man. You're a man. Please, stop it. So, this idiot had the ghost to slap me. Sis, she had the ghost to slap me. When a man reacts, they say a man has reacted. What is going on? It's game over for me, baby. Can't see this anymore. How do you mean it's game over for you? Baby, just stop. Listen, the man that I'm fighting, very hard to participate in his burial, is not even my biological father. Tell me, why am I here? He loved you. He took care of you like his own. He did what a father will do for his biological son. He even did more for you. Ah. The shame is too much. I can't. I can't deal with the humiliation. I can't. But the woman has taken a decision that favors you. Why didn't you want to do this to yourself? Why? Baby, get your things together. Let's just go. No, we are going nowhere. We came back to bury Chief. And so shall you be. Fine, if your brother doesn't want us to come to the family house, that's okay. We can send our canopies here. I will personally hire the best cook from the Tacos to come here and cook for us. That will not be necessary. Of course it will be necessary. Come on, my love. We have invited friends and well-wishers. What are we going to say to them? <sighs> if we pull out of the barrier, the matter will spread. But if we stay back, it will be contained. Please, my love, listen to me. And calm down, please. please. So, uh, how did it go? She's complaining that you're still the Elukada, very stubborn and always fighting. Why? Why is she complaining about that now? I have told her that I will change. In fact, I have changed. See, 
it might just take a little time for her to see the visible effects of the change. If you treat malaria now, it will not go immediately now. The drugs will go inside and kill the malaria parasite. Sometimes it takes one week, two weeks, depending on your person. So the change she is expecting is a gradual process. I have changed. You have to change. Do you know she has made up her mind not to have anything to do with you? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. I have to convince her to give you a second chance. You did that? Yes, I did. Thank you. Then what did she say? That you should change. I tell her I have changed. I have just tell her that you spoke with me and I gave you assurance that I have changed. Huh? I'll take your message to her. Please. But oh, please, I don't want to start begging for you again. You have to change. You will not beg for me again. You promise? I promise. I've changed. Okay. I've heard you. I know, Arla. I'll see you later now. Hmm? Are you Change you. Back? Yes, change. Change is not to I'm fighting good for myself and for her. Fighting our enemies. To take time. Eche, now that it has been confirmed, that Uncle Tito Bem is not the biological son of my grandpa. What will happen? Well, whatever your father said hmm, has not been confirmed, unverified. Iche, how do you mean? First, it is possible your father pulled up that story to discredit you with them. And we will not allow that to happen. Two, your father has to produce evidence that indeed there was a meeting of such between himself and your grandfather. Thirdly, your grandmother will tell us her own part of the story. From there, we will be able to make up our mind about the matter. Eche, this is a very nice decision. It is. I just feel that my father is cooking all this up to make Uncle Chudubem feel less important in the family. He's doing everything possible so that Uncle Chudubem will not participate in the burial. Well, it, that wouldn't work because we will not allow it. Hmm? Not when I am still alive and part of the moon. Iche, I am happy that we have honest men as part of the umuna. <laughs> Thank you. You can say that again. And finally, even if Shidubem is not the son of your grandfather, our tradition has made him the son of your grandfather. Yes, because your grandfather married the woman that gave birth to Shidubem the right way. And in accordance to the tradition of our people. So with that, there's no cause for alarm. <sighs> Ichi. Hmm? Thank you very much. Oh, you are welcome. I sincerely appreciate all this information. Thank, Thank you, sir. You are welcome, my dear. Uh, are you sure you really don't want to take something? <laughs> no, no. Thank you. This information you have given me is the best thing ever. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You are welcome, my dear. Thank you. Uroka, do you really stand to gain anything if you succeed in stopping your brother, Shidubem? from participating in your father's burial. Well, you see, Akuma, I have a whole lot to gain. Really? The most important thing I'm going to gain 
is that if I stop him from participating in the burial, that means that the wish of my late father, of whom Obogini has been respected, and he will be happy wherever he is. Udoka, for us to believe you, you have to show us evidence, a proof that actually what you just said actually took place between you and your late father. Are you kidding me right now? No, 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 no. What we are saying is that you need to show us a proof, an evidence that truly there was such a discussion between you and your late father. And that is what we are saying. Why am I smelling a conspiracy here? Udoka, there is nothing like conspiracy for you to smell. You don't expect us to swallow everything you've said here. Who? Line and sinker. It is not hook, line and sinker. What I am telling you is the truth. I am not lying to you. What I have just said here, exactly what I discussed with my father. That's what I'm presenting before you. Come uh, here, uh, who uh, uh, Uduk, again, listen. We are not saying you are lying to us. No. What we are saying is we want you to present evidence, convince us. So that we will believe that such meeting took place between you and your late father. Then, we will assure you that Chidubem will not come anywhere close to the burial venue. On the other hand, Chidubem has killed countless number of cows for us to be part of this burial. It is his right. And you cannot deny him that right simply because you came up with some sort of stories you said your father told you. So Chidubem has been the only one clean cows? The number of cows she has killed, can it get closer to the number of cows I've killed for this woman now? And you're sitting down here, you're telling me about the cows she has killed. And that is the yastig thing for you to be saying this nonsense he's saying. Do you know what? You see that evidence? I am going to provide it. Uh -huh. Good and fine. But I want to tell you also that you have to be very, very fast in providing the evidence. Do that as quick as possible so that we don't run out of patience. Otherwise, the moon uh, will end up fixing a date for the burial. Yeah, because if you continue with your drama, with your lengthy story and all that, we have no option than to fix the burial date. Did you just say that? I don't understand. No, no, no. You are going to fix the burial of a man without his first son? I don't understand. Why is he calling what I'm doing drama? What, what is the drama? Uh, uh, listen, let me explain it for that to you. Udoke Okemwa was originally our brother, our own brother, before becoming your father. Uh, and so what? Yes. So if you continue this way, getting yourself confused, huh? if you continue in the confusion around you, it don't means we have no option, like I told you, than to fix the burial date. Yes, you just have to fix it. No option. Okay, man. Without the Noshilobi, you fix the barrier. As how? I don't understand. Are you saying that to my face? But, but, but that is that is what it is. Oh yeah, was your No, you will start shooting your moon. I'm the loser. Yes, I'm the loser. <laughs> but I'll accept it as my fate. Uncle, you are not the loser. My father is the loser. How can you say that your father is the loser? Can't you see what's going on? As it stands, your father is a legitimate son of Chief Okenwa. Uncle Chidubem, you are also the son of Chief Udoka Okenwa. You have equal right with my father in the family. I get the sense that you don't know what's going on. Believe me, I know exactly what is going on, but I'm not going to buy into it. If Grandpa had this discussion with my father, then let the evidence come out. What do you think we need evidence? Sure we do. In this jet age, 
Claims are thoroughly scrutinized and censored before they are accepted as facts. My dad that we know will record any discussion that he has with people. Uncle, my dad is full of mischief and you know it. So if he had this discussion with his father, why did he not record it? Ella. <laughs> ah. Your level of intelligence intrigues me always. All the time. Uncle Chidobin, if we do not go about this the right way, some random guy will just come from nowhere and say that they had a discussion with Chief. And there, another problem ensues. Hmm. Makes sense, you're right. You're right. So I would say that you shouldn't be bothered with whatever my father does. It doesn't hold water. Bury my father is my right. Allow me to bury Papa Money Julaju. You hijack everything. No, no one. Change, change, change. I have finally changed. Yes, and so today you are going to pay me for all my calls you have been dodging. <laughs> today like this, me and you, Romeo and Julia, all my calls you have been dodging, you will pay me today. <laughs> the problem was changed. I have finally changed. Mogo! He who first an ant infested firewood has called a lizard for a party. Right at this moment, defend yourself. See, bros, let me just tell you what you I don't have business with aunt and his- Bastard! You know, I'm not afraid of going to jail. And you know, I've not killed you today. Huh? It's because I don't want more blood on my hands. I'm a babu! I live in the zoo. The zoo! See, Nkoli, this is why I hate this guy. He never keeps to time. Look, let's be a little more patient. I'm sure he will soon be here. It's over 30 minutes. 30 minutes and he's not here. See, after 10 minutes, I'm going home. Why are you always harsh on this guy? Why? Because he refused to improve. Okay, maybe he's on his way. That was what you said 30 minutes ago. And he's yet to be here. What do we call it? And I, I mean, I don't even know why you always take sides with him. See, I do not take excuse for him, okay? It's just I'm a very patient person and I allow people around me to grow. Really? Yes. Then what if they refuse to grow? What will you do? Nobody stays in one place forever. They will grow. You have not answered my question. You know what? Let's go to his house. Eh? Let's go to his house. His house? Yes. Why should I go to his house? Look, if you ever love this guy, you will give him a chance. You said he proposed to you. Forgive him. Okay, because of that, forgive him and help him rebuild. Let's go. Go where? Let's go now. Let's go. Nicole, I'm not ah. going. Jardine, let's go. Let's go now. Ah. Hey, young man. Good afternoon, sir. How are you today? I'm fine, sir. My name is Udok. Sir, I know you, sir. I doubt if there's anybody in this community that doesn't know you, sir. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Welcome, well, I'm looking for a man named Bawanye. I understand he's from this village. Sir, I don't think he's just Bawanye. He's Chief Akubilo Bawanye, sir. The Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to take you. The man I am looking for. It's not even a sheep. 
and to the best of my knowledge, he doesn't have the money to confess shiftancy upon himself. How can you be calling him Iye Ryoba? And so he was confirmed with the chief tenancy title last year, which was sponsored by his first son, who has made a serious money, sir. Is she there? Yes, sir. I know. What is the name of the son? Ah. Yes, sir. Any problem, sir? No, 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 no problem at all. So how do I get the man's house? Uh, sir, you're not far away. Just straight down the first turn by your left, the second building. Is it is actually a new house, sir, so it won't be difficult for you to locate, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, welcome, sir. Thank you. All right, sir. This information is very bad. To pass off the bar, to avoid this grace. To pass the nana, to pass the kenya, to pass the mo. This information is very bad. To pass off the bar, to avoid this grace. To pass the nana, to pass the kenya, to pass the mo. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Uh -huh. Sir, I can see you are the owner of the house. Oh, yes. Well, my name is Udoka Okemwa, the Eliba Gwagu of Mobogidi. Uh -huh. My father was late, uh, Chief Udoka Okemwa. The ego mala papa of whom I'm going to be. Ebele Enu is my mother. I believe you know her. What a glorious day! Ah, please uh, let's get inside. Uh, no, sir, let's no, get inside. No, 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 I prefer to have this discussion with you outside. Why? Fresh air. Uh, because uh -huh. I believe inside may be very stuffy. Mm. Moreover, I can see you have already set up a place under the tree like a village man you are. Oh, okay. That's... Uh, we, we can manage that place instead of going inside. Alright, if you prefer there, huh? let's go there. After you, sir. Mm-hmm. Ah! Somebody was telling me that they are giving you to get know how. You will not get away with this. You will not. I am ever ready for you. I just returned from prison last year. And I wouldn't mind going to prison again because of you. Stay clear from my part, Eloka. Stay away from me. Otherwise, a dead rat will be better than you. Listen, do you know the reason I have not killed you? Huh? It's because I don't want more blood in my hands. Huh? Uh, uh, are you a killer? Yes. I have killed many before. I am a killer. Listen. I just came back last year from the prison. And I wouldn't mind going to prison because of you. Eloka! Stay clear from my path. Eloka! Stay away from me! Stay clear from my way! Or else, dead rats. A dead rat would be better than you. Bastard. Hey, Ah, you are not in the animal kingdom, idiot. You are not in the animal kingdom, idiot. Grace to that great man of Omo Bogidi. 
The cow he killed to announce your birth to Kukubuna was Western. You can insult me all you can, I don't care. But I need you to start preparing your mind to receive Chudubem, your son. And you should be very grateful to my father for training him into the man he has become. But whatever connection he had with my father died the very minute my father died. I can take all things. But a character like you insulted me in my own compound. That I will not take. I am not insulting you. Rather, I am telling you the truth. But I understand it. Truth, they say, is always very bitter. On the sacredness of a journey, I am telling you here and now, the best of the air, bear me witness. Chudu Ben is not my son. Let it enter your ear. Honestly, I was not expecting you to accept it. Veroga, we are now facing reality here. He is your son. And the earlier you make up your mind to receive your son, the better for you. Get out of my house. Get out of my compound. You know, when I was coming here, somebody actually told me that your son built a new house for you and I was expecting something really magnificent. Only for me to come here and this portrait is what you are managing as, as a house and you are telling me to get out. Look at the way you are saying it. As if I am in a, in a kind of paradise. If you do not live now, you will discover why I am here your buff for my bogey. Well, I remember that was the tattoo they said they gave you. Automatically, you are a chief. I am equally a chief of Umabogiri. So, can we talk like chiefs? You are not talking like a chief. Oga, okay. I have evidence that you were actually still sleeping with a belly, no? Even after she was married to another man. It's evidence. That's a capital lie. That's a lie. Then, can you swear on anything that you were not compassionately engaged with a Belenu, the my mother, as in discussing compassionately with her, even after she was married, even when she was married to another man? Can you swear on anything? How have you been? I'm fine, and you? I am okay. You forgot me completely because you got married. How would you even say that? You know I'm now a married woman and I shouldn't even be seen around you. You know how people think. Well, it's okay. Um, I learned your husband is not treating you fine. That's not true. Come on, don't even lie to me. The news is everywhere already. It will soon be a thing of the past. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Do you mind if I talk to you? No, 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 no. Eyebrows will be raised and I don't want that for myself, please. I will be fine, please. So you prefer he continues to maltreat you? No, no, that's not it. See, as a matter of fact, I've already spoken to my father about it and he said he would change. So, I'm sure he will change. Now you're talking. I heard you're getting married. Yes? I'm happy for you. Thank you. Hope she's beautiful. Just as beautiful as you are. You can say that. Thank you so much. I'm happy for you once again. And I'm happy that you're also happy for me. I need to start going before my husband starts looking for me. Can I at least get a hug from you before you leave? A hug? I am a married woman. It's nothing, it's just a hug. What I had 
with your mother then. You were just an innocent hog. I'm not uh, uh, It was not just an hog. No, don't tell me that. An innocent hog. It was not an innocent hog. What you did was a hog to see what happened already. And that thing that happened was that you slept with her, a married woman, got her pregnant. That child she was carrying that time when you embraced her was she the and you were embracing her to seal it. Am I lying? <laughs> I swear on the sacredness of Ajan, the mother ate. After Chief married their mother, I never had any carnal knowledge of her. What about Karana, my friend? Are you, are, you, are, you, are you expecting me to believe this? That is the truth. And the only truth. Well, I have already told you my own truth. Prepare your mind to receive Shidubem, your son. That is the only thing I am telling you. Forget all this nonsense you are doing. It cannot work. Shidibem is your son and he belongs to you. Huh. Why would the gods punish a man with such arrogant man as a natural being? Huh? Why? By the roadside. How? I don't understand. What are you people talking I about? I don't even understand, Mom. I was waiting for him. He asked me to wait for him. No, wait. Hey, look. What happened? Mm. What? Who did this to you? Tell me. Who did this to you? Where did people say you found him? By the road leading to the uh, village square. What happened to him? I don't know. And it's like this? Like this. Mm. Mm. Yes, good. Good. <sighs> what brings you to my Obi? Um, uh, uh, this is wine for you, huh? Because my journey is for peace. You're welcome to the home of peace. Thank you. Uh, the reason for my visit is I want to enter the oath of vindication of Ajahn Umo Bogide. Mm. Are you under any form of accusation? Yes. Uh, Udoka, the son of late Udoko Kenwa, he came to me yesterday and they accused me of something I never did. You are Bawani? Uh, yes. The man he is pointing at as uh, the father of uh, Chitubim. Uh, yes. Okay. I will bring the offer. Uh, uh, before you bring the offer, I will want to give you a short story of what transpired between Ebele Enu and myself in the past. I'm listening. You don't look happy. What is wrong? It is my father. What did he do this time? He wants to forcefully marry me to another man. 
But it's a way with a relationship. He said the man is ready to marry me today, tomorrow. And, and he looks like he has money. That, 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 that means he must have collected money from him. Exactly the point. And you know my father likes money. My love, you know I truly love you. I don't want to lose you. So what are we going to do now? See, the man in question is yet to come to pay my bride price. Maybe you should come and do that before he comes. Please. You and I know I don't have money. And your father should understand that. I'm even confused. I don't even know what to do again. I think I have an idea. You do? I'll take a bottle of wine to your father. Okay. And make my intentions of marrying you known to him. I like that. Very nice. Very nice idea. I'll do that tomorrow. Ah, please, you have to hurry up. Tomorrow may be too far. Obim, don't worry, yeah? <laughs> Tomorrow is not too far. Your father will understand. Please wine, hurry up. You know, to get a, wine, a bottle of wine now is not expensive. I know I'm not working yet, so I'll get it tomorrow. Please, just try your best, please. What is it? Uh, Nai, I came with a good purpose. Please, get a seat so we can discuss about why I'm here. Say whatever you want to say as I go in and continue with what I was doing. Um, Nai, I am here to make my intentions of getting married to your daughter, Ebelenu, known to you and your family. She has been taken. Uh, how? I don't understand. You don't understand? I am going to marry her off to a wealthy man who has the boldness to put his money where his mouth is. That is exactly what I meant. <clears throat> but Nai, your daughter is in love with me and I also love her. Love is not enough for me to marry my daughter to you. Am I going to eat love? Tell me! See, Nai, eh? please, don't do this to me. Your daughter means so much to me. She means the whole world to me. I'm sure you knew how you came in. When you are done blabbing, you find your way out. Nai. Nai! He turned you down? Yes, he did. Did he give you any reason for that? He said he was marrying you off to a wealthy man. Oh. oh my God. That man must have given him a lot of money. Exactly. Then we have to elope. Yes. That is not the best option. See, this is the only option we have now. I mean, by the time they look for us for two to three days, they will not have any other option than to appreciate what we have, what we share for each other. My love, I may be in trouble. You're not going to be in trouble. Believe me. Please. After I met her father, I knew that what was coming was bigger than me. So I withdrew. I left her. After she married the Doka, did you contact her in any way again? Uh, yes, I did. But that was on the road side. We had discussion. I never had kind of knowledge of her since she got married to her husband. How come, Diocha? It is better for you not to come to me than to come here and lie. 
the consequence is always death. You know that. I'm aware of that. Huh? I didn't come here to lie. I am not lying to you. You are going to swear on the offer. Uh, yes, that's the allosy. And that is exactly why I'm here. <clears throat> mm. Okay. Hmm? What do you think? Oh God, do you think? Huh? Bow. Go ahead. If I ever had canal knowledge of a Belenu since she was married to her husband, let Ajani, the central deity of Umar Bogidi, strike me dead and my entire family. Mom, it is not important. You needed to be there to see what I did to him. You just needed to be there. I didn't let it slide. Hey, look, you were looking very precarious yesterday. And that's why I didn't want to discuss anything with you. They're looking at you now. I can see you are good to go. Yes, sir. I'm fine. Good. So can you tell me who did this to you? Dan, his identity is not important. In fact, I got him more injured than I am. Telling you. Hey, look at what you are saying does not make any sense. Are you aware you, you almost died yesterday if not for the timely intervention of the doctor? Dad, I was just tired. I was not dying. Prior to the close of death. Hey, look at who did this to you? Dad, I don't know him. What? Why did he attack you? Tell me. from my boyfriend. If you don't stay away from my husband to be, eh? I will so deal with you in this village that whenever you hear my name, you will run away from the village. Bet me. If I may ask, who 
is this your boyfriend? Look, I don't know who he is. I don't know. <laughs> who is this your boyfriend? Ifani is my boyfriend. Ifani has proposed to me. In fact, what is remaining is for him to feast death for our marriage. I've been seeing you moving Burkere movement with him. I said, let me stand here and warn you to stay away from him. Did you hear me? Ifani belongs to me. Stay away from him. Is it my own Ifani that you're talking about? My blood tonic. All that can handle. Come on, shut up! Holy Ghost feels that narrow Don't that will fire that your mouth! Don't that will split the mouth into pieces! That mouth you use in calling him your tonton, your sweet attitude! Don't that will fire it! You don't have shame. Are you, are you a kuna kuna? Eh? That you cannot go and find your own boyfriend. He is somebody's boyfriend, somebody's husband to be. Let me tell you something. Ifani belongs to me. Ifani is my man. If I has proposed to me, oh. yes. In fact, my parents, everybody knows about it. Mm. So stay away from him. You see all the money you have been spending on you. Mm. All the money that he has been... I, I know he bought you this clothing. Mm. I gave him those money and you cannot give him more. You don't even have anything to do with <laughs> Stay away from him. If you don't want me to face you in this village, stay away from me, from me, from me fine. Do you hear me? You're laughing. Oh, you know, I actually thought you have something meaningful to talk about. I said, come back here. Come back. Do, 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 do you want to walk out of me? You want to collect them mad? Wait. You're mad. You're the mentor. You, want, you, you, you just want to walk out of uh, the Chris. Did you just touch me with these filthy hands of yours? You look this fresh hand finish. Mm. You call him filthy hand. Look mm. at who is calling my hand filthy. Now the money where I remain, where I remain for my cream, now they give you, yeah, 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 fine. You the reason they buy nkota, we then cut for you, they, they, they're calling me, they're calling me filter. Something is wrong with you. Do you hear me? If you don't stay away from that guy, I'm warning you for the last time, you go collect from me, wutu, wutu. no try. If you try that nonsense again, if you, you dare do? touch me with this filthy hand again, what will you do? I will beat you, you will beat you, and black. Will beat me. I will give you the beatings of your life. No, I can't Nonsense. Get you what is wrong with them? Come on, you're fighting over my man. You're fighting over my man. Whoever did this to you must go to jail. Dad, Dad, I am no longer a child. As a matter of fact, I defended myself so well that if you had seen what I did to him, you would be congratulating me as a worthy son. Beat him anyhow. What is it? You look tense. Daddy, there's a serious problem. What is the problem? A man called Bawanye. He just left the OP of the chief priest. How is that my business? He just entered an oath of vindication and nothing, nothing happened to him. That is because deities do not kill instantly. They don't even kill overnight. They kill systematically. So you have to relax and watch. Very soon, that man will drop dead. No, I am lost here. Who is Bawanya Wa? That's, that's the man that he accused to be Uncle Chutu Bem's father. It is not an accusation. That man is actually Chutu Bem's biological father. Daddy, it is an accusation. And it will remain an accusation until you provide credible proof to the claim as the elders have requested. Ella, why are you doubling into something that doesn't concern you? Why are you doing this? No, no, how can you be here and you know what is happening 
at the OB of the chief priest. Why, for that matter? Why? That whatever happens here concerns me. In the future, all of these troubles that you're creating, when they resurface, we the younger generations will be deeply involved in it. That's that's why I'm still begging you, please, let's put an end to all of this. Hey, 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 hey. Why are you kneeling before me? You know I hate people kneeling before me. Why are you doing that? No, 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 a, a kind of emotional blackmail or something. Listen to me. I have gone very deep into this and there is no going back. Mommy, mommy, please talk to daddy. What is doing will tear this family apart. The generations unborn will suffer from all that is doing, please. I don't understand. Biko, your father is on the right path. And all I need to do as his wife is to support my beloved husband. Already he is enjoying my support. Wow. You can't do to be a good wife for your mother. I don't understand. <laughs> Who is teaching you? Where are you learning from? Can you do much? Um, your face is not bright at all. You look so devastated. And I Problem. <laughs> now Doka has pushed me be beyond, beyond the brink. And I want to let him know that he has been running in a wrong direction since he started this trouble. And no matter how far he runs in this wrong direction, he can never get to a glorious destination. But and uh, what role do you think I can play in a situation like this? As head of the Omunna, I need you to summon all of them. Summon everybody in Obuefi, Ilopotifes uh, 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 place. I should summon everybody. Why, why should I summon everybody? I want to prove my innocence. I want to let everybody know that no other man has seen my nakedness after I got married to, to, to Udoka Okenwa. I want to let everybody know that no other man has ever seen my nakedness after I got married to Udoka Okenwa. I want to let him know that he's been wrong all along. You mean you really want to take your son to the priest for the central date? Mom, oh, eventually. Hi. Well, I, I don't know. I would have advised you look for another means of settling this matter. No, I have advice. My mind is made up, and that is it. No going back on it. I have good advice. Hi. I didn't see this coming. I wonder why Chief couldn't tell us this. Udoka has been hiding something. He has been hiding something. And I think it's because of the fat lie that my husband left all his properties and money for.
no answer. Can't you talk again? I don't know her, I don't know her name. I only know her in person. Oh, is it an issue? But why did she have to handle you like this? What did you do to her? Oh, you know what happened though? I did not do anything to her. I did not do anything to her. So why did she do this to you? Can't you talk again? I, I, I only told her to, to leave my boyfriend for me. If I had proposed to me that she was going to marry me, Mama, I told you. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You are actually telling me that you fought in Umobo Gidi because of a man? No, that is not my that. She fought me. Oh, God, and I just said I fought me. I don't know why he don't want to chat. He proposed to me. And I told you, he said he's going to marry me. In the air now, in the air. Am I so? Oh, so you mama one. No, wait. Boyfriend that did not even propose with any ring or any sign of ring is who you are fighting over. I said it. Why am I so unlucky? Be careful. He proposed to me. Why is he fighting over the ring? Why am I so unlucky? Can you do it? Yeah, I believe. I believe when we came, we were not even coming. See that aunt is almost biting you. Well, leave me alone. Did you I not tell you? You don't have any feeling on your body again. <laughs> he proposed to me. He, I told you. He said he's going to be my husband. Every time I see that girl, be walking up and down with my husband to me. Every time I see her, I don't want to confront her. The next thing, she can sit now. No, wait, though. He, he proposed to you. Mm. What is the evidence of the proposal? <laughs> Did you beat her? Mm, I beat her. Yeah, I'm correct. Because I beat my own too. I beat my own. No, this one is just small pieces. Ah! Look at how I feel this. Oh my God, it's burning me. It's not a bit to help me. Oh man, see what I can do. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Because I am telling me, I'm not a proposed to me. If I want to marry me, I don't tell you. Look at you. Um. Ebelen, you asked me to gather the woman in my book that you have something important, very, very important that you want to tell us. Um, I thank you so much, Omunna. I thank all of you, all members of the extended family of Okunka. Thank you. Um, yeah, someone, just go ahead and tell no. us what you have to tell you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Uh, whatever I'm going to say here today, I'll make it very brief so that everybody can go back to what you were doing before you were called. So it's going to be very, very brief. Oh, that will be very much appreciated. Um, <laughs> what I want to tell all of you today is a secret. It's a secret because my late husband never gave me a chance to tell him this secret. And more so because I was hurriedly married off to him just after three days indicated interest to marry me. Uh, Mama, can you please just hit, hit the nail on the head direct so that we can know why we are someone here? I don't know what I use, but ah, going all this, all this. I need to be going on this. Yes, I will say it. Udoka, before you rudely interrupted me, I was going to tell this whole house that you, Udoka, are not a biological son to Udoka Okemwa. Okay, okay. Huh? Is that a joke? Is that a joke? I don't know who is leading you to do this. I don't, I don't know, but whoever that is leading you to do this, you should know yourself that you cannot solve any problem with this approach. Just shut up. Quiet and let me finish. It's your stupidity that led us to this level. Look at me. But we need to understand something. I am an Ishia in this land. And I remain an Ishia. Would you people sit down and watch a woman be... Because it's my mother. Watch your language. 
How dare you interrupt somebody who is presenting something to me? Please, don't ever try that again. I apologize. Then, Thank go ahead. you. Obwefi, Ilopitifi. The truth is that I was already pregnant for Babanye before Udoka Okenwa approached me for marriage. I was already fed pregnant with this, this ungrateful man here that sits here to, to tell you that he's an Iche in presence of his mother. You, Okwange. I was supposed to see my monthly visitor two weeks ago. Oh my God, that means I am pregnant. No, that can't be possible. Oh God, I'm finished. Bawanye, I didn't want to do this, but you forced me into it. Now see, now the worst has happened. What do I do? Bawanye has to be aware of this. Are you rushing to? I want to go and see Jendu. I thought you told me Jendu traveled to the city. Yes, but she came back today. You look pale. Are you, are you okay? Me? I'm you look okay. sick. There's nothing wrong with me. Just like a headache. Headache? Yeah, it's a headache. Okay, right. there's nothing wrong with me. I prepared some herbs, eh? Okay. Be sure to take some of it when you come back. Of course I will. Let me hurry, I'm coming back. He went to the farmland. Which of the farmlands? Which one now? Do you understand me? What is the problem now? I need to see your brother now. Please, where did you go to? Tell me. Talk now. He went to the farmland close to Abuluka Waterfall. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Why you called me? Yes. Sit. Yes, sit. For we have a discussion to make. Okay. Oh, Papa, can't you wait till tomorrow? I'm feeling sleepy already. It can't wait. It's very urgent. Okay, I'm listening. Talk. A young man came here today seeking for your hand in marriage. Papa, I know the young man and I'm not interested. I have not called you to seek your opinion because I have taken my consent already. What? You heard me right. Start preparing yourself because in three days' time, the young man together with his family will be coming here to pay for your price. Papa, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Papa, I don't like it. I, I don't like him. Why are you forcing him on me? Please, I don't like him. For your information, the man is very rich. And he has further convinced me 
as a decisive man who will stand by his family. And let me tell you, when you get married to such a man, poverty will be very, very far, far, far away from you. But why are you giving listening ear to this man? Why are you giving listening ear to him? You know I'm in a relationship with Bawanye. Allow Bawanye to Bawanye away. You have no business with him. And let me tell you, you must stop whatever it is you have with him. But I will not stop. I will not stop. You will not stop. Whether you like it or not, start getting prepared to get married to Udoka Okewa. Because this is the choice I have made for you. And there is nothing, I repeat, there is nothing that is going to change it. Papa, good night. I'm not listening to this. You just made my point. Yeah, I've made my point too. Now you get Who are you? No, are you talking to me? You're asking me if I'm talking to you. Who else am I talking to if not you? Tell me, how many of us are here? No, it's me, but you already know me. Asking me who are you is really confusing me. I don't know you. And I don't want to know you. And for your information, I don't want to see you in this compound again. Why are you sounding like this? Have I done anything wrong to you? Papa, why are you speaking to him in that way? What has he done? Look, shut up and get inside. Papa, it's not fair. Why have you suddenly turned against everyone? I said, get inside! And you? I don't ever want to see you anywhere close to my daughter again. You want to infest my daughter with your poverty sticky last tie? Now get out of my compound. I said get out of my compound. Get out. Oh, you don't want to leave. You would have waited for me. Idiot. He does not measure up to the standard of the man I want for him. That is his offense. Papa, money is not enough. I love him and he loves me too. Is that not what should matter? Where I want my daughter to be, love is not enough. Have you even asked yourself if I love the man you want me to get married to? Do you know if I have any atom of feelings for him? Do you know? There is no need loving him because the love he has is enough for both of you. So whether you love him or not, it doesn't matter. I mean, try to understand what it <laughs> does not. I'm dreaming. I'm sure I'm dreaming. Somebody should wake me from this sleep, please. Papa, I'm dreaming, right? This is a dream. This is not true. This is this is not true. This, this cannot happen to me, Papa. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this? You are this? wide awake, my daughter. <laughs> the earlier you start preparing to know, <laughs> the better it will be. Papa, what have I done to you, please? Why are you doing this to me? What have I done to you? Why are you doing this to your daughter? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? I cannot marry him. I don't love him, please. I can't marry somebody I don't have feelings for. Hey! Hey! I got no. I'm finished. 
Ambilisa! Yeah. <laughs> nice story. Well, I trust my brethren of Ofunka family. I know there is no way you are going to buy this. Mama, listen, eh? I don't know why you are, we will come up with this, but there is no way you are going with this story that you just concocted. To please your, 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 your son? Because he looks like you? <laughs> you are not going anywhere with this story and you know it. <laughs> Udoka. <laughs> Udoka, I did not lie about your paternity. Okay, but if you're not comfortable, you and Bawanye can go for a paternity test. And if it comes out that he's not your father, may I be banished from this community of Omoba Ogidi. Or let the great deity of our ancestors strike me dead. Yes, my marriage to Udoka Okenwa was done in three days. I didn't have time to tell Bawanye that I'm carrying his, his child. I couldn't. Udoka, if I lie about your paternity, may I fall dead. Let me die. Jezebel, I am not happy at all. I am so angry hmm. that we'll be working with an illegitimate son. I wonder where Udo Keribagwagu will hide his face. I wonder. This thing is not good to happen to anyone. Not at all. Um, come to think of it. Do you see? You know that Udo can brought this upon himself. If he had stopped where he was advised to, it wouldn't have gotten to this. He wouldn't have experienced this level of embarrassment. I'm just wondering what has become of him right now. I'll, I'll go and find out from him. I'll visit him. Before end of today, I'll visit him to find out from him. Please try. Uh, you know, he's our brother. We cannot abandon him just like that. No, no, no. Uh, I'll see him. Yeah, I'll go and see him. Try, later. do so. Try. Uh, Sorry. It's just. Mm hmm. If I don't find a good girl, I'll show you how to go mad. Oh, you know, I'm not going to be vindicated. You can say that again. Uh, it feels good to be vindicated. I forget what you do, Bim, and you let the girl get mad. Oh, yeah. You see, if you ask me, I think this is your time to humiliate him, embarrass him, and intimidate him the same he did to you. I'm, 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 I'm not that kind of person. Uh, Udoka is my brother. Uh, we're made from the same couple. I would never be caught joining issues with him. I'm one name company. I'm not going to be a vegetable. For me, I believe that. Huh? Whatever a man so since I hear it, oh, yeah, that you would have that with him. Uh, well, yeah, why, well, yeah, why. Uh, this is not the time for judgment. Eh? Okay. I brought the both of you here so that we can marry. Mm -hmm. You know, celebrate with me for standing by me through this uh, period. You got to go. Uh, let's uh, let's let's not talk about my brother. <laughs> uh, before I forget, my wife is in the kitchen on um on our own copy. So there's a copy. There's also going to be um. Fish pepper soup. Ah, fish pepper soup. This is a bad draw now. We are here to have to In fact, if you don't want to I will stay here to Oh, yeah, you're my name. I said it. I said it that dad was fighting a lost battle. Huh? And you all just did not care to listen to me. Dad was fighting a lost battle. What are you talking about? No money, one more one. Grandma has just revealed that daddy is the son of her ex and not the biological son of grandpa. Come on, shut up. Are you mad? Do you hear what they're saying? And then you, you believe that nonsense? Hey. You did not ask yourself what sort of nonsense is this woman saying? You just believed it. It's everywhere. How can you even say I'm it? not making it up. The story is everywhere. What story is that? Uh. What nonsense are you talking about? What do I say? That my own husband, my beloved husband, is the son of another man. Hey, 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 hey,
Mommy, I did not say it. It's what Grandma said. And if that's your grandma who opened her mouth and spit out that kind of rubbish from her mouth, that means she is under the influence of alcohol. Thank you. In fact, she's sick. That is just it. Wrong with her? Alcohol or old age, her brain has entered reverse. That is it. In fact, the woman is sick. No need. And in civilized nations, they will carry her to daycare where they take care of the elderly people. That is where she's supposed to be. Hey, Luca, Ada, Mommy. You all know that grandma does not take alcohol. She doesn't. Memory loss then, old age. Listen, this is your false news. It's false, false, false. And not acceptable by me, by all standard. Oh, be she's kind of crazy. I'm so It's so unfortunate. Daddy has shot me. You will never, you will never bring good news to this house. You will never pass my phone like this. Is she a Zabila? How are you today? I'm fine, Luca. Can I want to? I don't Um, something important came to my mind, and it is more important that I discuss it with you. What is it? Okay. Now that your true father is discovered, I feel that you buy some wine. Go to him and explain yourself. I will never do a thing like that. Why? Because I don't want to be associated with the man in any way. Udoka, <sighs> when we are talking about your biological father. Well, let me tell you something you don't know. The only man I consider my biological father was the one who raised me. The one who made me who I am today and the one who gave me everything. Uduka, that is the exact right you have been denying your brother, and for no reason. Let me just tell you something. She is a bill. Be very careful with your utterances. I am not in a good mood. Ubadra I know your problem, Uduka. You are up against the man you cannot intimidate. If that man, Gidi, accepts you, you are better off there. As for this place, you have lost everything. No, no, no. The business is there, the money is there. But you have lost everything. The Onochilobi, Elibaguagu, even your Ichi title will be stripped off you. You are not our blood, Udoka. You have to be very careful. That I cannot intimidate you, Bobanam Bali and Kate. I'm not trying to help you, Doka. I'm not trying to help. You cannot help me. Help yourself. I saw the items you left at the shrine of the central deity. Items to trigger the sacrifice for dissociation. May I know why you brought them? Thank you. Exactly. It is because I want to separate myself from Udoka. Simple. Why? why? The young man is too arrogant to be called my son. Very arrogant. Are you now aware of his true parentage? Uh, yes, um, the news came to me yesterday. I would advise you take him as your son. <coughs> no, no. I already have three sons. I do not need more. Uh, especially someone that has been spoiled with wet and affluence. A person that do not know when to stop or where to stop, 
Eh? I don't need that kind of thing. So, Mbano. Do you really want us to do this? Do you? Eh, Zahalo, see. By the virtue of the mammoth sacrificial thing I drop at the central deity. And that will determine or define the degree by which I want it done. I want it done. Uh -uh. Yeah. Hello, I came here to tell you that you are still the first son of late chief Udoka Okenwa, our father. I want you to know that a sperm donor cannot claim ownership over you. A broker, see me. Yeah? Uh, if it's the man who married your mother, who was a good father to you all your life, That is the man that can claim ownership over you. Exactly what the elders bid me to understand. <sighs> Unfortunately, our father is dead. I will have to bury daddy. And I have come here to ask that you and I work together like never before to bury Papa. I want us to give Papa a befitting burial because he deserves it. I want people who think that this issue will tear us apart to be surprised at the level of success we achieve working as a team. Hmm? I appreciate your kind words and I, I want to thank you from the depth of my heart for your understanding. Thank you. You are welcome. Shidibim, you are indeed a good man by every definition of the word. And I, I will remember this day all the remaining days of my life. It is fine. Oh, what kind on here? You know, things like this will always happen to teach us um, a few things about life and um, new things about ourselves also. I agree with you completely. I have learned my lesson and I learned it the hard way. Just, just see how, how our our paternity has just been completely twisted. Uh, 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 please, uh, I want you to brush this off. Uh, uh, let's, let's pretend this never happened. Uh, uh, it would also interest you to know that the man who is alleged to uh, biologically be your father, uh, <laughs> the man ran to his alose to declare his non-interest. So I think that's a plus for you. Uh, this is where you belong. Uh, your family. You are still my brother. Uh, and um, for clarity, I want you to still keep this mansion to yourself. And everything that you originally inherited from our late father. Where you think, GM? Keep it to yourself. I have more than enough. My family and I are fine. You know, go. Shidbem, you are a different breed. <laughs> Completely. Dal. <laughs> Men like you are rare. Thank you. This weekend, we are going to meet with the members of the Omona to fix a date for Papa's burial. And I am still not invited, I suppose. Come on, she'd have been done. Stop saying that. <laughs>
as in come wagging jacket. No, the man, the man we are talking about, you are actually his direct offshoot, <laughs> and uh, you are the head of the funeral. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank it's you fine. For thank you so much for everything. Well, I, I, appreciate it. I just want us to give Papa a deserving befitting burial. He deserves it. But above that, Ilibawabu, I just want you to be my brother. Hmm? Mm -hmm. We are brothers. Thank you. Val. My love, let's talk. I want us to talk. At least for three minutes. In fact, one minute. And I don't want to talk. Please, my love, let me. Let us talk. I want to be left alone. Okay, I will oblige you. I will come back later. Okay? Careful. Okay, careful. She love me more than me in a boy. I will sue Udoka for character assassination. Mm -mm. I will make him pay for everything he has done to us. No, baby. There will be no need for that. Right now, we rebuild all that has been destroyed. We let love lead. Okay? Don't tell me you want to let him get away with everything he has done to us. Ah, forgiving him and so should you. What kind of a heart do you have? I don't know. I'm just being me. Papa deserves a befitting burial and that's what. We should be focused on right now. <sighs> All right. If that's what you want. Mm -hmm. For you and the old man, I will save my sword. <laughs> Thank you for always listening to me. You're always welcome. <laughs> Daddy, breakfast is ready. Daddy! Daddy! No more peace.